Windows Mummy has nails now. They're gold. Because I'm a fucking cliche bitch, apparently. He's got little jemmies. Look, he's got little jemmies. Little jemmies. Kind kindness is royalty, and that's what I choose to believe. People will do a two about 150 quid trips to buy like 200 quid's worth of cigarettes. Good morning! Good morning. Hello, hello. I upgraded the camera. I switched the camera. You know the, ca the fancy camera we had yesterday? Where it would move around on its own? I upgraded it. I upgraded it, and now a... Uh, uh, now other people can join and, c and control the camera. I'm very bright. There we go. Hi, good morning! Yeah, I did that last night. It just played two songs that are on my playlist, though. Yeah, these are just copyright free songs. They're just copyright free stuff. Hello there, Floxy. How are you doing? God, this music's really quiet now. Really difficult finding that nice comfy middle ground with the music on streams. Anyway, eh? Gotta get my smooth. Should we do the fancy camera again? I want to do the fancy camera. It got upgraded. Yeah. Enable. Oh fuck. Did I fuck up? I did fuck up. Fuck! Okay, well, that camera's out of the question for today. It's on my character, but I think I didn't have it set up. I think I might have had something dis disabled. Shit. Okay, well I fucked up. Don't worry, it's an easy fix. I just didn't have it enabled in the scene when I uploaded. Mwah. Anyway, how are you all doing? Good morning, Floxy. Hello, God. Hello there, Taris. Hello there, Jake. Hey, Zonami. Hi, Wolffire. Hello there, Japler. I see you. How are you all doing? You all doing good? How you guys- did you guys have a wonderful night? I kind of stayed up a little later than I planned to. I was supposed to call someone and I passed out. You broke it, didn't you? I didn't break it. So when you upload it, you're supposed to have it like visible in the scene. And because it's really big, obnoxious, and it gets in the way and shows and hides a lot, it's kind of annoying. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Okay. I need to- Fix my sound management. Miss Katie, what's rocking, hun? I'm doing good, Sammy. How are you doing? Enjoying the pictures of my fucking your mum pass? Yeah, I got a fucking your mum pass. It's right here. I'm planning for Twitch Conuers. I'm gonna see Buff Pup, hopefully. Hopefully, I see Buff there. And I'm gonna walk up to them and be like, Hi, you're my Oshi, can you sign my tits? And I'm gonna give them the sticker of my avatar. I'm gonna give them a sticker of my avatar, ask them to sign my tits and sign my badge, and then no one's allowed to sign it. That is it, that is it will be, become sacred to me. I come back from ads and all I hear was hear my tits. I'm gonna ask Buff Pup to sign my tits at TwitchCon. Because I am secretly a degenerate. You guys don't know this about me, but I'm secretly a bit of a degenerate behind closed doors. I like it when people write on my body. I, I, and Buff Pup's kind of my Oshi. She's been a massive inspiration for me. And like, um, if I can get her to just write on my body, I, I, I have a fi I'm officially kinked to the high how. And, ah, oh, the abs. <laughs> Body writing? Shush. <laughs> the literal first thing you say at me is fuck your mum pass. I have a fuck your mum pass. It's right here. It says Ms. Katie B. WKD. I don't know what WKD stands for. Isn't that a drink? Isn't that like a drink that's got loads of food coloring in? Is WK WKD is a W... w WKD is a drink in the UK, which is essentially watered down vodka and food coloring, isn't it? Buff Pup makes you guh. 
Buff Pup is my inspiration. She's been the one person who, she's been the one creator who kind of unintentionally inspires me to push myself. Like, completely un- a completely no idea how, no idea why, just does. And it's kind of like, yeah, they're my- to put it simply, they're my Oshi. <laughs> it's the Alco Pops that kids- that kids just become legal drink. True! It's like vodka light for- for- for twats. <laughs> but yeah, wanted to say hi to you on stream, I know we don't chat all that often. And time zones suck, so... Jap, I'm always available for a DM if you want to just kick back and message me. I'm... I, I, I miss you a lot. I really, really hope we can hang out uh, more again. I understand the time zone thing is an awkward annoy. I'm going to stand like this and my gold looks like gold. Because it's got a really, really fine-tuned setting with the fucking shading. Uh, that is so finely tuned. I move out of the pagoda, and it, it. Look at the gradient on the neck. You can see it going. It's like whoa. <laughs> but yeah, I'm. I'm hoping you're doing really, really well, Jap. I'm always a DM away for you if you want me. The hair is alive. Should be a little. Hi, Gizzy. How's my bestie? Redesign model looks great. Totally wasn't a secret to me. Oh my god, you, you totally were kept out of the loop. It wasn't like I was spamming messages in the server showing you updates on it almost every five minutes. Because I'm really, really, I'm, I'm, I'm endlessly looking for approval and like confirmation that I'm doing the right thing, and no one ever fucking corrects me. So it makes me think, oh shit, I need to do more. Yeah, when people don't respond to shit with criticism or critique, my brain literally goes, shit, I need to do more. So I just keep adding. All your redesign art and stuff that them out. Oh, do you like the panels? Chat, do you like the new panels? I updated every fucking single one of the panels. If you are wondering, each one of those pictures are a fucking render. They they literally took like a good hour to an hour and a half per panel to do. Each of the fucking panels in the Twitch chat, underneath the underneath the stream. Scroll down, chat. If you're on desktop, scroll down. Each one of those panels took an hour and a half to do. It took like a good solid 90 plus minutes to do each panel. Just the pose, not including the like 20 iterations on the design that we came up with. But yeah, do you like the panels? Hi Jake. Pancakes you say Jake. I suck with art critique. I just want to hear your feedback. I don't give a crap if it's good critique or bad critique. Any feedback is good. Exactly. What are you saying exactly? But yeah, I'm really, really, ba I'm really, really bad. If I don't get feedback, my brain instantly goes, "Oh shit, I need to do more." It doesn't think I'm doing good. I do I just need to keep going. Chat to, uh, chat to you later, Katie QD. I know, I just know I don't deserve mod here, Lamau. Jepla, I trust you more than you realize, and mod with me isn't a mandatory thing. It's more of a safety net. It's it's a safety net for me. It's not it's not any it does it's it's because I trust you. It's not mandatory. I trust you. I said I trust you. I I I care about you and I trust your input. That's why I seek it quite often. Um but yeah, it's more of a safety net thing for me rather than like a mandatory thing for you. Okay? I'd rather have like four or five mods that don't say shit and pop up when I need them, then have zero mods and need them all the time. Katie is good at bonking miscreants. I do I do my moderating differently from other people. I don't sit here, I don't stand here screaming to bloody hell and back again. I legitimately, if you, if you misbehave, I try to correct your misbehavior rather than Rather than just being like, nah, you're being creepy, fuck off. I go, you're being creepy, calm down, dude, 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 calm down. Hey, hey, I get it, you wanna sound edgy, C 
come down and then I just keep doing the whole calm down thing until they get the fucking picture. And if that doesn't work, I just ignore them. If that doesn't work, I ignore them and eventually they shut the fuck up. It seems to work. It seems to work, at least to me. I have an itchy ear again. Why do I have an itchy? Oh, there we go. Hi. Damn, I got loot. Got loads of picks. What picks you got? Huh? Need a bath. You need a bath? Go bath. And Katie gives chances to her chat to, to improve. I do. Because at the end of the day, Zami, I am... This is going to sound really cruel. At the end of the day, I'm well and aware that a lot of people who sit and religiously watch, tw watch Twitch are somewhat... I'm, one, I'm not going to say touch deprived, but a lot of people who religiously watch Twitch and have bad behavior like that um, have not had an upbringing of... Com people who basically sit on Twitch... People that sit on Twitch and religiously go around acting like twats in people's streams weren't raised in a way which encouraged good behavior. It was more to punish bad behavior. So... I believe in leniency to allow for improvement because I'm well and aware that a lot of the headspaces that are on the, there's a diverse set of headspaces in this in on this platform and you need to accommodate for all of them. If someone comes into my stream says something that's a little ignorant, it's better to educate than to chastise. Chastise? Chastise. It's better to it's better to educate than chastise someone who's just being a bit ignorant. Ignorance is a lack of education at the end of the day. So just work with that. Today, I leave Delk's place. And then you're officially out of holiday, brain. It's okay, hon. We can do Olingo together. I'm... I, I'm... I'm... I'm gonna... Yeah. You're encouraging me to do Duolingo. <laughs> by next, by, uh, hun, d Gizzy, by next Twitch con, by next Twitch con, I wanna be at, Twi I wanna be in, I, I wanna be in, in, at Rotterdam and I wanna feel comfortable um, talking a little bit of dooch. A little bit of dooch. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna intentionally have a really dumb accent. I actually really want that. I really want the whole, I, you know, the whole definitely a foreigner with a Dutch accent. I want to be like an American learning Japanese. You know, you know that, you know, the Yang, you know, the whole um, American learning Japanese type thing where they go, where, where they turn around and say, Watashi wa hendes? Non ska? <laughs> I want to do that, but for Dutch. <coughs> Katie wants to speak Dutch. I want to learn Dutch because obviously my, I actually am looking at moving to the Netherlands. It's actually on my list of maybes. I'm, I want to I want to move. I want to get my own place. Right now, the Netherlands feels like a very solid option for me simply because it just feels really solid. It's like the most solid of options for me to lean into. It's got great in public infrastructure. The roads are there are great. The concept of the 15 minute city is pretty fucking prominent there. Like you can walk. I can walk 15 minutes and get anything I need pretty much outside my door. The internet there is great. Bills are nowhere near as bad as what it is in the UK. I know it's not perfect, but at the end of the day, if you take the UK and everything in the UK and compare it to America, uh, compare it to the Netherlands, it's fucking perfect. Neil would have more peep, peeps than there than yeah. I, uh, but what m mean you might come to con, tap with Chloe. Jake, okay. Out of all of the positives, there's now officially only two negatives. One, I'm in closer proximity to Chloe. Two language barrier which isn't as much of a problem so technically speaking there is only one real problem and it's potential being in closer proximity to chloe but that's something i can live with i live in close proximity all the time 
Oh yeah, the third one is actually physically moving there. I just keep going to ask, uh, why you, why, why are you pocket sanding me? I was just going to ask, why would you want to move to the Netherlands? Um, so when I went, so when I went to TwitchCon, Zami, when I went to TwitchCon, I, I, I stayed with my, uh, my manager, and I was just talking about how everything, I felt safer, I felt safer there, I, I felt safer being there than I do here. I feel more comfortable and confident being able to move around freely. I know it's not perfect because there is a language barrier, but it's not as serious as people seem to think. It's there's layers. There's there's layers to it and it's like I need to move out. I'm 31. I turned 32 in what 3 is it? It's the 7th. Yeah, I turned I turned 32 in like 3 3 and a half 4 months now. I'm in a genuine situation of like, I need to start looking and properly considering moving out. And right now I feel like I've got two options on the table. Well, no, right now I feel like I've got three options on the table. One, I stay in the UK and I move really far away from where I am, which means I'm moving away from family. But Financially, it feel financially money-wise, it's easier for me to work with because same bank account. I'm just moving, I'm I'm just moving within the country. Pretty reasonable. But price and everything here really bad. Internet here isn't consistent across the board, meaning it's quite awkward. It has its here staying here has its problems. More expensive, more expensive shitter internet. Not well, inconsistent internet. Blah 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 blah. Move to the move into the Netherlands. I have to get myself a visa. I have to make sure I buy a place. I can't just rent. I won't be able to rent. And it's like there is a list of things that I need to take into account. But every all the positives outweigh the negatives. Moving to the Netherlands, it's kind of a risk, but it's a worthy risk. Move into Spain. Cheaper living, probably, but internet is a bit spotty. But it's genuinely cheaper. Problem, hot as fuck weather. Could consider Canada. Canada could be a solid option. Issue, I have to get a visa. I have to apply for a visa and I get two years before I, get, can, before I can technically move there. And then like, I have to go through the whole finding a house thing. And that's moving further away from my family. Where I'm living now, in the situation where there's a problem, like, I, I don't know. Heavens forbid my dad gets into an accident and I need to rush home because he's put to the, some so sort of, yeah I mean it's like in the Netherlands it can be I have a family member who's on the brink of death it's a problem it's a massive issue I'm an out I'm around about an hour to two hours to be I'm about three-ish hours to be able to get home I said going to the airport getting on a plane Landing and then going to where I need to be. I'm within three hours pretty consistently I go to Canada. I'm a good 12 to 15 hours out from being able to do that So it's more risky. I might not be able to say goodbye to a family member And I'm at that age where family members aren't exactly staying around very much Netherlands is that a trans accepting nation country? It's fairly tra it's from what I can tell it's fairly LGBTQIA plus positive It's very much it's higher on the LGBT index than the UK Which is why I feel so much safer there Also, there's less of a homeless issue over there. It's not perfect, but it genuinely is a lot better though Yeah, yes, it can get a bit hot in Spain. Yeah, it's kind of known for its heat. <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 in general, everything with the Netherlands just feels like more positives than negatives. Also, TwitchCon seems to be very much going towards repeatedly going to the Netherlands. So it's kind of easier for me to just do day trips for TwitchCon and then just come home. Because I could literally go to TwitchCon, come home, and then go to TwitchCon, and I can stream like normal. It's 
and just turn around and be like, guys, I'm gonna go to TwitchCon. I'll see you after this. I'll, I'll, I'll stream after I get back. You were saying comments about feeling safe. So one of the, Zami, one of the big problems I have where I'm from is I live in the middle of a big city in the UK. And I'm, when I say I felt safer, I mean that quite literally. I've been assaulted walking down the street here. I, 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 I don't want to, I don't like talking about it, but I've been assaulted on the street by a random stranger. I've had people shout shit for about, uh, I've had people shout shit at me multiple times. I've had people follow me home. I've had people literally follow me home. I went out for a jog and I had a person literally almost chase me home here before. I walk around on the street and I'll get homeless people asking for shit and then if I d just ignore them sometimes they'll follow me around. I don't feel safe here all the time. My mum accuses me of being a recluse but she locks her car door when she enters the area that I live. I, I'm not even lightly joking. If my mum comes and picks me up from here, she will not leave her car out. She will just pick me up outside and she will unlock the doors to get me to let me in. That's how bad it is here. That is genuinely how bad it is living here. So yeah, when I was over in the Netherlands, I genuinely mean it. I felt safer. I, I felt way safer there. Walking around. I very I don't wear dresses. I wore two dresses at TwitchCon. I felt fucking fine. I felt invisible there. That's how fucking safe I felt. Meanwhile, here on my street in the last say 10 years in the last 10 years of living where I am. Okay. That side, the house right next to me, the one which had the drug dealer problem. Yes, the drug dealer problem, not that long ago, where a gang, a rival gang broke in and stole their weed farm. About two, three years ago, a, wom a woman killed her partner in that, in that, in that house. A woman killed their partner. And we didn't find out until the flies were- uh, We didn't find out until the flies were becoming a problem because they left the window slightly ajar. I turned around and made a comment to my dad. Dad, there's quite a lot of these, um, flies around. Where do you think they're coming from? And he said, oh, they're flies. I said, yeah, but these are ones which are specifically, like, specifically turn up when dead- with, like, dead- with like dead things. Do you think there's a dead thing in the house? And he went, I'll have a look. I can't smell anything. He steps outside, sees their window slightly open and loads of flies, calls the police. Police go round. Welfare check. No one answers. They see the flies. They smell the smell. Oh shit. Break into the house. Dead body. Yeah, that was that side with the drug dealers, which we, which got also got raided by by, by a rival gunning police. That's right next door. Now the next one. This side. Not right next door, but the door over. A massive, well-known drug dealer lived there for a very long time. Talking 20 plus years. Now, no one liked to, to no one liked to get on the bad side of him. He knew a lot about local gangs. Very much a, very, very much a thing. Very, very much a thing. Um, he stopped, he disappeared for a while. Kind of was confused because he was a re he, he was a really nice guy. Loads of stuff. He was actually a genuinely nice person. Gangs didn't want to fuck with him often because he, he was well known. He was good, he was good with pretty much all the local gangs. Uh, disappeared out of nowhere. Police, uh, he missed three months of rent and his landlord breaks in. Three months of rent, landlord, uh, his landlord breaks in or gets entry. 
right? I shit you not. Dead body in the freezer. His body was, he was killed and stuffed into a freezer. Two doors that way. And that was about eight, nine years ago. So that was a thing. So one murder there, one murder over there. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Hello, Zaylee. Hello, welcome into the stream. But yeah, so that side had a straight up murder. The two doors that way had a straight up murder. Now let's get to the local pubs. <laughs> let's get to the local pubs. There is a pub not far from me in that direction, which got closed down. It got closed down because it was being used by local gangs for distribution of miners. I'm not talking the Minecraft type of mining. I'm talking about the, hey, human trafficking levels of uh, miner stuff. So they had to shut the whole place down. Yeah, that, that part, that bar got shut down. Whole place got paneled up with metal panels and stuff. The whole, they, they've torn down half the building. So there's, there's that, there's that way. I used to go there growing up, by the way. We used to go to that place growing up and then it changed hands. Local gang was using it for, um, uh, for human trafficking. There's another bar, that direction. There's another pub, that way. They blast music, they blast music on the weekends. I'm talking fucking loud sound system. I can hear it from here. It's like half a mile away and I can hear it quite clearly from here when they do it. Uh, yeah, one night, one night in that bar, five people got stabbed. Five people got stabbed and that was only a few years ago. Yeah, that was a few years ago. Yeah. Um, more recently, I haven't told you this one. More recently, there was a Another mishap at that bar, which spilled out onto the street, um, a, a couple of people got stabbed, and they died, on the road, down there. The whole place got locked off for about two days, whilst they investigated it. And you know I'm from the UK and we have really strict gun laws? You know, you know I'm from the UK, we have really, really, really solid, really strict, really like, Holy crap, this should be a model for the Americas level of gun laws, right? It's a privilege it's a privilege here, not a right. Right? Fucking shooting. We had a shooting down the road. I can Google the footage. I can find the footage because it actually was a big thing. But there was a shooting just down the road from me. I heard the gunshots and everything. Rival gang, gun shooting. So you want to know why I don't feel safe here? That's why. That is actually why I don't feel safe here. And when I was in the Netherlands, I get it's not perfect. I know it's not 100% safe. But based on those brief stories I told you, do you really think that this is a safe place for me to stay? As a trans woman in a country where the news for the past, I don't know, year has been bashing my existence? and been degrading me as a human being and saying, hey, you wanna use the bathroom? No, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. You really, do you think I feel safe here? Do, do you really think I feel safe? Every time the fucking, every time the fucking Tory party open their mouth and do, do, do um, stupid politics, which don't fucking matter, but degrades a group of people, do you really, and the suicide rates and assault rates and murder rates go up. Do you really think I feel safe here? There is still that criminal. There is still that criminals don't care about the law, no matter how many you make. Yeah, there is that. There is the I can do what I want twats. But at the end of the day, it's more about the layers of comfort. I I lost my comfort here. There's a reason why I very rarely leave my room. Like my mum, I, I hate to say this, my mum is kind of right when she says I'm a recluse. But I'm not a recluse by op by choice, I'm a recluse because of... My other option is, I, do, would, I don't feel safe. <laughs> do you think that's fair? So yeah, I want my own place, I want to feel safer, I need more room. You most definitely need, need to move. Mm-hmm. 
Do you want to know how you can help me? Watch my streams, watch my YouTube content, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to financially help me a bit more, then you can throw a subscription, gift a subscription, maybe follow, maybe join the membership, which will be coming soon to YouTube. Maybe join my Patreon. If you want something which is a bit more spicy, we have the other platform. Uh, buy my merch when that comes out, because that will be on the way soon. Yeah, I need to talk to them. Neil! Wait, Gizzy, tell Neil to remind me to do the, the to do the merch thing. Gizzy! Gizzy! Me, yeah, tell Neil to remind me to do the merch thing. Yeah, it's you! You! Tell Neil to do the, to, to remind me to do the merch thing after the stream, okay? I'm stupid, I need reminders for that shit. Hmm. Hmm. Just message them, tell them to remind me after the stream. <laughs> it's not complicated, it's fairly easy. Thank you! Do my butt for free. <gasps> oh, God. It's okay, hun. I'll get your Baileys. I'll, I'll, I'll get your Baileys and coffee next Twitch, next Twitch con, okay? Yeah. Anyway, moving on. I don't want to talk about that depressive story time shit. But, but yeah. Um... How are you all doing today? What have you guys been up to? I'm getting back into... I, I'm getting back into, like, n not a Spanish coffee. I didn't try that. I only know Baileys and coffee. Pago! Hi! Hi! You doing okay? I've got an itchy ear and it's really annoying. Ah. Uh. God, that hurts. Shit, it doesn't hurt. I want a second. I'm good. How are you doing? You've been taking care of yourself? Uh... Sorry, there's a thing I did for appearance in the chat and I want to tweak it. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, it's that one. There we go. Found it. There we go. You want to tweak us? No, I, okay. So I have it with the chat. So when new people pop up in the chat, when new people pop up, uh, when new people pop up, people subscribe, people join the raid and so on and so forth. It highlights messages differently. And I enabled moderator. So every time a mod chats, they get like a massive box around them. It was really awkward. Cause it's like taking up loads of space where like, I, and it's hiding more chat. So I just adjusted it. Meh, 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 meh. Is it Neil on holiday? Neil is on holiday. They're still my manager, and it takes them two seconds to just message me saying, "Do the much thing." I'll know what it means. Oh, I say on your end. Ye. Yeah. Ah, my back. I'm getting old. <laughs> Gizzy! Yeah? Dokens are honking my tits. I. But I wanted to honk your titties. That was what I wanted to do. Hmm. Hmm. I want to hold your titties. I 
I am the one ho I'm the one who honks. Uh -huh. I know he try I know he types. <gasps> One second, I need my fucking I need I need a Q tip. That my air thing is actually fucking frustrating me at this point. Give me a moment, I need to drink I mean do do a thing. I'm really hoping my body just didn't disappear. Hi Peter He did a single titty honk. I was I should have asked you at TwitchCon Gears if you wanted to touch my titties. At TikCon? Hell wow. Next time I see you, I give you permission to just... <laughs> full palm it. You can full palm it. You can go for the whole grope if you want. I trust you. Oh, fuck. Okay, that feels way better. Wait. The detail. Gizzy, who's your Oshi? Chat, I want to know who your Oshi is and you can't see me. I'm not an Oshi. I, I'm no I'm no one's Oshi. I am not inspiring. I want to know who your Oshi is. Actually, no, fuck it. If you want to say I'm your Oshi, you can say it. But you need to explain why I'm your Oshi. Who is your Oshi and why are they your Oshi? Give me your Oshis. Say, so I have... About three, Iron Mouse, Buff Pup, and um, Melody. Why? Melody is inspired to encrypt me to just be myself and just be more open. Iron Mouse has been a massive inspiration to basically pursue my dreams and just be myself more often than not and basic and basically um. Thank you for the follow. Welcome into this stream. Uh, yeah. So I'm Mouse has basically been uh, a massive o uh, one of my big Oshis as well because she's inspired me to um, just she's just encouraged me to be myself and just don't stop trying. And and Buff Pup, but Buff Pup has been the one person that's kind of encouraged me to just kick, try to kick ass and just get on with shit. Don't have one. Pray everyone has an Oshi. An Oshi is a person that inspires you. They're like your inspiration. Your big one. I find it really funny how two are from V Shoujo and one is from Vishiban. What is it with V? Zen because she is a little a silly banana dragon cyber lady. I've met Zentraya a couple of times in VRC, actually. I didn't know it was Zentraya until I, 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 until afterwards. I, I just talked to them nonchalant, not giving a shit. <gasps> oh, yeah. Huh? Lucky? You forget, Gizzy, that a lot of, uh, a lot of VTubers make their start in VR chat. A lot of the, a lot of us make our start in VR chat because this is essentially VTubing. This is essentially VTubing early on. Zen is OG VR chatter. Yeah. Okay, you evolve. I do. I I will say I evolve very slowly. I need a drink. I need it. Wait, where's the cans? There they are. Hi. Yeah. You met Zentraya? I've met Zentraya a couple of times. This is years ago. Oh yeah, I got I got upgrades. What a lot have now that they many start as PNG people. A lot of them start as PNG tubers and then they'll upgrade to doing VRC at some point. I do, okay. VR chat is an early pipeline for a lot of for a lot of streamers. A lot of them will be in VR chat meeting other VTubers, and then they realize that they want to do streaming, and then they'll do streaming, realizing that they can't really handle it in desktop, so they'll do be, be do PNG tubing. Also, I don't know why my mouth keeps leering off to one side. Okay, 
Okay, and your hands done broke. You mean... Of course they will. Grab my nails. Hmm? It just makes me laugh seeing the small glitches. What glitches? Are you talking about me taking the wrist off and it spins around? How is that a glitch? I need my hands to do shit. Hmm? Hmm? But yeah, Swagger, I met Zentra. I've met... I, I've met Zentraya Project... Uh, Project Melody. I know Rose. I have clips of me with Rose from when I early, from early on in my streams when I was, I think it was my second generation model. Oh yeah, I'm renaming my I'm renaming my models. I'm gonna do a generation. I'm gonna do a generation thing. Gen one, gen two, gen three, gen four, and just go through them. It just makes me. Uh, I I I don't know. I'm not the head. I'm not in the headset community on VRC. I only have desktop. That's fine. That's fine. You just need to realize that when you're in v when you have VR and you want to do stuff with your hands, there I where my cat like I have small hands, or at least I think I've got small hands. I can just about grip the 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 grip thing. If I want to pick something up like a can, I have to either use two hands and I'm using fingertips. Or I take it off and just control things better. So like that. Uh, uh. See? So would you rather I drink like this? This is juice box holding. Do you want me to do juice box? I'm going to do juice box. Hmm? Hmm? But yeah, in terms of who I've met in VR chat, I've met a fair few people. I don't even think half of them. I don't even think about like half of them. I knew Fillion before they got big. I knew Fillion before they got big. I knew Rose around when they were at like 60, 70, 120 odd viewers. Like I saw them in their early days of up and coming. I think I have met Buff Pup, but that was before they were Buff Pup, really. Um, I've met Melody, I've met Zentria. Um. I know Rob, Ruffle, if you don't know. Um, I've met Crumpet a few times, actually. Actually, I was hanging out with Rob the other day. It was on someone else's stream, but I was hanging out with them. Um, time to set up a big house, sure. Uh, but yeah, I basic I I've met I've been in the VR scene for quite some time now. I know a lot of people. I've met a lot of people. I, I know Flair. I was on Flair's stream last night, bullying them. Because it was their birthday and I wanted to say happy birthday and I cheesed them. I let them touch my tips and I touched their tips. It was a whole tip touching thing that we did. I'm on Elton, Elton internet and, I'm, and it's not cutting out. Gizzy, did you know in the Netherlands that their standard internet connection is a gig? <coughs> Gizzy, did you know in the Netherlands their standard download speed is about a gig? That's like their lowest internet speed in the Netherlands is a gig. Neil has a four gig four gig connection. They have a four gig download. Yeah. All the more reason to move to the Netherlands. Apparently that's like standard everywhere. They roll they rolled out fiber everywhere and then announced that they did fiber. Yeah, fucking Elon Internet. Oh my god. Oh. 
Big stretch. Fuck me. Oh. Oh yeah, I need to do that. I do that after the. I do that after the stream. But it's. But is it still standing? <laughs> oh god, did you see my response? My re. My uh quote retweet this morning of of a guy, who was bragging about his cyber truck. He was on a slightly muddy path with some rocks and my response was dude I said my guy you're on a slightly muddy path with some rocks and it looks like you're struggling you can do this in a Fiat Punto with 12 students in the back like it's like it's like someone by a lake bragging they have a glass of water like, dude, no one fucking cares. Why? What is it with fucking Tesla fucks going around bragging that they can do certain shit with their car? Like, oh, this is unique. I'm like, the only brag you have as an electric vehicle, as an EV, is my refuel took 15 minutes and cost me five bucks. And now I can go 500 miles. You brag about your mileage and how cheap it is. You don't brag about being able to go up a slight incline with a little bit of mud and some pebbles. You look pathetic. You look like a giant man-child trying to feel approval for their shitty financial decisions. Holy crap, you are funding a psychopath. The Cybertruck is full of malfunctions, and there is no reason to have a Cybertruck. No shit! It's a mistake! The thing was five years out from being functional. The funny thing is, is they go the funny the copium the copium addicts in the fucking Tesla community who jumped on the fucking Cybertruck dick early on. Genuinely Genuinely are sitting there going Oh, they're gonna fix a lot of this through software updates. I'm like, motherfucker, these are features they promised you were working. It's video, it's video game industry for cars. I'm like, I bought the thing, give me the thing. It's the worst part. It's like buying, a, it's like buying, it's like having Elden Ring. It's like having Elden Ring, but you can't do Redmain Castle. It, it, it's, it's, is is doing is having Elden Ring, but you can't access Redmain Castle without buying a forty dollar DLC, and it's like the smallest DLC. It's Assassin's Creed with that one extra mission because you bought it on PlayStation three with three days early access. You're a fucking idiot, dude. The game is uh, unless it's like a the, why. Why the fuck do I have a- oh god. Why do I have to shit on my tongue? Oh god. But yeah, I find it so stupid that Cybertruck- Cybertruck owners are, are huffing the most copium of any fucking car owner on the planet right now. And I'm not, I, and I'm, I'm even talking about the people who go out and buy like Lamborghinis every fucking year to brag that they've got a, they've got a Lamborghini. It's like, it's like, it, it, Tesla Cybertruck owners are car versions of crypto bros who went bankrupt during the NFT boom. It's just pure copium. What did you eat for breakfast? I had a salad and a coffee. My dad's O2 young Yukon's dimmed headlight glows brighter than half of these daft cunts. I have a, it's on me. I have downstairs a little thing that we got about two, three years ago, right? It has, it has a light bulb in there. It has a little candle, a cheap little candle, which is designed to just stay on. We got told the light bulb will last two weeks. 
It's been going solid for two and a half years at this point. It's been going solid for two and a half years. It's still glowing. That thing glows brighter than the fucking Cybertruck owners. It, it, I, I shit you the fuck not. Speaking of video, video games, did you hear that most games, game, games are getting delisted due to them not getting enough sales? Like, come on, the reason why they are not getting enough, uh, enough uh, getting bought is because the consumer isn't liking it. Video game developers need to stop making it for the critics and make it for the consumers. Primal, my opinion on a lot of... My, okay, fucking hilarious. That's hilarious as fuck. That, that, that's what they're doing. The problem with the games industry at this point, and I shit you not, this is the genuine issue. Developers developing games for the sake of making money and not for the not for the person playing it, its enjoyment. Why do you think Elden Ring has done so fucking well? It's a game for gamers. It's a game for gamers, and that's what people care about. Why do you think Helldivers has done so well? And I know they're going through a lot of problems at the moment. The reason why is genuinely because they've been teasing new AI, new enemies for like months now, and everyone just wants the new enemies, and they don't realize that they should have dropped it like a month or so ago. Genuinely, that's the problem. We need new enemy types, like, every few months. Um, yeah. Also Sony. Yeah. The problem is, is game studios doing shit for the board, not for the game, not for the player. In my opinion, if I'm, a, if I'm in a studio and I have a board of directors and stuff, and I'm making a game, if I'm, if I'm working on a game and I'm making a game, I'm making it for you, not for them. Wait, new model? Nice. Yeah. I tease this for weeks, hun. <laughs> Rockstar just needs to increase to release the next manhunt. They need to release the next. If Ro don't know me, if if Rockstar needs a massive cash flow, they can just do either a Red Dead relaunch, as in relaunch the old game, or other things. Hi, cuteness. Hi, hi. Bro, I live under a rock, okay? You're fine. I didn't announce it like five times on my Discord and also like... <laughs> you okay? No, where did you go? Where did he go? Hi, East Bean. Yeah, I fixed shit, by the way. Just here to say hi, then go sleep. Okay, have a good sleep, okay? You have good rest. I love you. I love you too. We need to watch Inside Out. You passed out and didn't wake up until I was going to sleep last night. <laughs> you did like a good healthy nine plus hours of sleep. To be honest, I did, a, I did a good like seven hours of sleep last night. I really needed it. I'm still on. Yeah. And after stream, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm actually getting kind of warm. I should put my fan on. I'm trying to do the whole sleeping without my fan on thing. Cuteness, I'm editing my VODs properly now. It takes me like a good two-ish hours after stream. I didn't get much sleep last night. That's life though. It happens. Grr. I'm bouncing to start my travel. Have good stream. Okay, have a wonderful journey, okay, hon? Message me. Message me when you're home and safe, okay? Message me on Discord saying, bitch, I'm safe. Grr. Grr. Why is everyone gurring at me at the moment? You're like the fifth person today to go gurr at me. I was... I was on for... But you gurr? Do you want me to invite you? Is that what you're asking? I, I broke my cam my fancy camera, by the way. I can fix it, but... um, it, it, I have to do... Um, OBS, I have to do a, I have to do, fuck, I have to do, um, 
Unity. That was that was a word I was looking for. I have to do Unity stuff. Oh yeah, we're an hour in. You're allowed in. Hey, cuteness, if you want in, I just invited you. you can come, come join me. Come, come join me. I don't like facing this way. My avatar feels a little flat. I like facing this way because it actually has lighting. I guess I could just stand here like this. Comfy middle. No, I am movie world right now watching Jackass with friends and Evie is passed out on my lap. You can leave. You want no one to leave for me? You want my Mimi? You don't want me? You don't. You don't want me? Chad, you don't want me. Cuteness doesn't want me. You're dead. You don't want me. Died. If you died on my lap, I bet we're just tired. It'll be okay. Are you need snuggies? Oh, I had pizza last night. I'm still, I, I'm getting used to having pizza again, but I, I know I'm not going to make them a regular thing. It costs like 30 quid. It costs like 30 quid for a pizza, and I'm like, oh, it's so nice. It's so nice, but it's like so fucking expensive. Oh yeah, my tail goes, the tip of my tail goes red if I spin too much. I'm just telling people it catches fire. I bet I, I'm so happy that that got fucking um, mod slaps. But yep. Yeah. Okay, cuteness. What type of pizza? I had. So I had um, what was called an American. It was it was an, it was called an American. It was basically a normal cheese pizza, but with like beef and with beef and um, pepperoni. It had beef, pepperoni, mozzarella, and like loads of stuff. It was just a, called the American. <laughs> Video gamer! I have a dick! Thank you so much for the 25 months. Hey all, make sure you're eating and drinking water. Also nice new avatar Katie, it's amazing. Thank y'all. I love you move back back to movie. Enjoy movie! Good morning, good morning Jinx, how are you doing today? I'm still trying to, I feel like I'm still trying to get my head back into streaming. My my trip really knocked my my headspace out. Time off for me feels dangerous. I need to be working on shit. Like streaming feels like a muscle I can't let relax. Oh my god. We are one away from a hundred. I'm triggered by fucking OCD right now. That is so fucking close. Oh my god. I'll come kiss you later. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, video gamer, thank you so much for the 25 months. I really appreciate it. An awesome two month streak, by the way. Mm. Have you tried to make one pizza yourself? Gluten free! Gluten free pizza is kind of difficult. Because for me to make gluten free dough, it it's way more complicated to make gluten free dough than standard dough. Hold up, I can fix that, no problem. Jinx, you're on a 35 streak? Congratulations. Wait, Tay, are you still here? What's your watch streak at? Like 40? 50? What's your watch streak at? I, I, I want to know. <laughs> Oh. I have a dick. We're gonna 
thank you for gifting cute as a sub. V1 Dio Gamer 5000 gifted a tier 1 sub to cuteness. I like how I just went with a sk at the end. <laughs> cuteness, enjoy your sub! Even though I know you're a sub. Thank you for gifting a sub a sub. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, video gamer, thank you so much for gifting number seven. Thank you for giving my OCD some happiness with a round number. Hi, Mel. Hi, hi. OCD no longer. No more OCD range. It's great. Now I'm hungry for a sub sandwich. I'm just hungry for a sub. Ooh, actually, yeah, I might. No, 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 no. I'll do that next weekend. Round number. I like round numbers. I like round numbers and multiple of fives. I like round numbers or multiples of fives. The zeros make me happy. Fives make me comfortable. So I'm really happy with zeros. I could go for a sub, a meatball sub. I love me some good meatballs. I'm going to go to the gym, actually, so you have a good one. Just wanted to stop by and renew my subscription. Take care all. Have a great time at the gym. Don't overdo it. Don't hurt yourself. Drink plenty of water. And if there is a gym teacher, if there is a uh, trainer, make sure you listen to them. Because they know what they're talking about. Also, you can say no. Don't be creepy with girls as well. That's just a blanket statement. Don't be creepy with girls. Everyone in chat, do not be creepy with girls. It makes us uncomfortable. It's a reason why the whole safe space bullshit is becoming a thing. Because it shouldn't need to be a thing, but it is a thing, sadly. Oh god, that's so comfortable. But yeah, have a good time at the gym. I'm actually planning to go back to the gym on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday and Thursday next week is going to be my gym days. Because I can wake up whatever time I want and then go to the gym. I'm also hoping I get the email tomorrow to go pick up my fucking tablet. Because if not, I'll have to do it on Tuesday. And then I'm going to be like, shit, I can't do the tablet and go to the gym. It's one or the other. So I'm hoping it's... Monday. I'm hoping to get the message in the morning. Because I should be ready by now. <laughs> no, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact them and be like, hey, where the fuck is this? Because I'm yet to get the email. Being like, it's ready for pickup. I will, I will do that tomorrow before I go live. And request it. That way if it happens during the stream. I can just go after the stream and go pick it up. Because I can stay up late on Tuesday. I, I can stay up late tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I also need to talk to my dad. I might actually get him to move the shelf today. Because if, if we move the shelf today. Then I could just move my room around tonight. Oh yeah I'm moving my room around. <laughs> I need to move my room around. I wanna, I've been wanting to do it for a while. I will have to figure out how I'm going to do it. I think the best thing for me to do is move the chair here. And then pull the desk out that way. Maybe. No, pull the desk to there, then move the bed to there, then pull the desk over there, then move the bed. Yeah, I can do that. Nice new avatar, Katie. Thank you, Mil. I hope you enjoy it. It's got loads of little features, which are not safe. <laughs> but which floor plan? Um... I'm moving my desk from that side of the room to this side of the room. Yeah, I'm moving my desk from that side of the room to this side of the room. I'm centering it. And... Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I have a plan in mind. I wanted to get this wall plastered, but my dad didn't do it. So I'm just going to move the room around. And then when we want to plaster that wall, we plaster that wall. More details from the last avatar. Mm-hmm. It's got a lot. It's got a lot more small little features and features and fichettes. Is that a word? Is fichettes a word? No, no. It's got a lot of small little details here and there, and it's just like 
all round it's just more comfortable it feels more me it has nails now they're gold because i'm a fucking cliche bitch apparently he's got little jemmies look he's got little jemmies little jemmies also this is a weave that you can actually see through and this is grabbable little details this is a really high detailed model by the way i modeled that myself and little wings too yeah they go flap 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 plap 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 claws you want claws i can show you claws because this also does this hun And there's just the eyes change as I do that. The horns disappear. Something I learned recently is that I p uh, that iPad kid is a perfect description for some kids since there are kids who don't know what a controller or keyboard are. Yes, pray. The, the, there was a pirate software clip. There was a pirate software clip where he was talking about how he was at a game jam or like a big game event. And he had a table, he had a controller and a mouse and keyboard on this game so it goes if you want to go on the mouse and keyboard you go on that if you want the controller you can go on that but try, hey try out our game and no one was going for the mouse and keyboard and so on and so forth and almost every 10 year old that walked up to the screen pushed the controller aside and instantly tried to touch the screen they don't know what the fuck they're doing Also, the fabric's more detailed. Oh god, yeah, the fabric is way more detailed. It's got loads of very fine details. I'm trying to... It's got loads of little details all over it. Like, See? You can see it. You can see the fabric lines, like, here. And stuff. Welcome to the stream! You came in at a very awkward time. Hi. Make sure they're closed. To retract since cat claws retract too. That's what they do on my toes. <laughs> but yeah, um, loads of little features on this. Makes sense the claws to retract since. Oh, wait, I already read that. Nice come and play horn. Horny. They're called the grab and goes, hun. These are called grab and goes, okay? They're not horns, they're grab and goes. It's really hard to do that. <laughs> I actually have someone who's gonna 3D print me the horns. I have to send them the free the file for the 3D model, so they can make them into like a hairband. Because I think the plan is gonna be they do like a plate. They they do like a a, a a thin plate, and then like a and then like a band, and then like a, uh, so it can sit on my head. Because they want me to wear it at TwitchCon, and I'll be wearing them at TwitchCon. I will say, I think the plan will be to put something on the hood. Yes. I have chicken nuggies. You want chicken nuggies? I haven't had chicken nuggies in a while. I had halloumi bites last night. They were really, really nice. Racing handlebars, vroom vroom. Ride wife. Wife mad. Kill wife. Sad. Wife gone. Yeah, you got chicken nuggies. I've been a chicken nuggies in forever. I had halloumi bites last night though. That was quite. Those are quite nice. Right, wife. Life good. Wife angry. Kill wife. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, iPad. The whole iPad thing. I bought. So I bought the new iPad. My hope is is that I can go pick it up tomorrow, before stream. I'm hoping I can do it before stream. I'm making sure. Um, 
I'm leaving it till no later than 10 to go pick it up. So at 10, I'm going to be going out to go pick up my go pick up my shit. I'm hoping I get the email. I'm I I feel like I'm going to get the email at like 9 a.m. So I'm going to message, I'm going to put forward a message on the system asking what's going on with the delivery because I sh it should it's showing it's at the store and it's just not being processed. I have a feeling what they're doing is because it's the weekend, they don't want a massive influx of people going in on the weekend because it just makes sense for them to not want a massive influx of people going in on the weekend. Um, so that waiting until the Monday to be like, hey, it's available. You can come pick it up now. Please do it in the week. <laughs> Which stream? Huh? Katie, did you see the satisfactory release date trailer, by the way? No, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. Do I have this? Do I have it set up to do it? Oh, no, I do not have this set up anymore. I might need to set that up. It's so good. I want to watch it. We can watch it um, tomorrow. We'll watch it tomorrow, okay? Because they've got the one point. Because I know they've officially got 1.0 coming out. I kind of hope that they consider doing DLC to expand, uh, to extend the map and like expand a lot of the stuff on the game. I think, um, I think them doing like DLC to expand the game wouldn't be a bad idea. They've spent so long developing it. I remember when we were, sh when we, when we were streaming it and it was so chill. I could do that again. But then I started modding it and I kind of got bored. So far, a toilet paper DLC and a second two, second two DLC are on the table. Yeah. I think having it so there's like a lot more going on would be cool. They should also put like a station above the map when you look up. They should just have a space station. Just, just, just as part of the fucking, when you look up in the sky, you should see like a space station, which is like a giant wheel 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 thing big thing looks like a giant toilet roll or a toilet roll holder just a giant cargo ship well they could actually know what they could do is that and then have like a halo style ring around uh, next to it as well so that's where all the people are and that's the station which you were on and you're just prisoner maybe only when you have the space elevator but that may be hard to do no it's not difficult you just have it as part of the, um, you just have it as part of the fucking, um, yeah, it's not difficult. You just genuinely have it as part of the skybox. Isn't that, that's really fucking easy. They just make a second skybox. Have it look the exact same. Or just put a model above where the, uh, put the model between the skybox and the map. With the ship on it. Oh, no, they could do a secondary layer for it. So you can have it, so skybox, secondary layer slightly inside that skybox with just the thing on it. It's a giant PNG. It's a giant PNG which just sits in the sky. It doesn't have to be detailed. They can even do an incoming animation. Katie, how does it feel to be the biggest bottom? Amazing. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm so proud. I'm... I'm drinking. I it feels so amazing to be given this award for the biggest bottom. As a size queen in training, this means so much to me. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this award for the biggest bottom. It makes me so happy. The size queen of me is so proud. I don't know why I decided to do, the, do that as like an Oscar style speech. Shiny. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, what I do like my panels, chat. I you, I didn't hear if you liked my panels or not. You like my panels? Do, do you think they're nice? I like my panels. I think they're lovely. Oh yeah, we need to sit down and do that. Let me buff them for you. I am good pol polisher. Buff what? I'm very confused right now, Jake. I'm a still the award. No, you cannot take my monster blue can. Those fuckers are hard to get. You can only buy them in four packs and they're always out of stock everywhere. It is so fucking annoying to find monster blues. I really like monster blues. And they're so bitching annoying to find. Do not. Kitsune, do not take my fucking monster. I will bite you in a place and you will like it. <laughs> I'm really bad at, I'm really bad at threatening people. I'm really, really bad at threatening people. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Jinx. You can keep the monster, I just won the biggest bottom of what- No, it's mine! I got it with my monster pack! I'm gonna take my monster pack! It's part of the- It's part of the Femboy box collection, okay? Cisco! Hi! It was nice me- It was nice catching up with you yesterday. I'm glad that you had safe travels home after the con. By the way, Cisco, kind reminder. Um, actually, I'm gonna talk to, um, Neil about that for next TwitchCon. So we're gonna be- I think the plan next TwitchCon is we're just gonna do sets of four. We're just gonna try and do things in sets of four or twos. Um, we've got a set of four of us already for next year. Um, if you come, if you decide you wanna join us, I feel like that should be more than fine. But I feel like you need to find someone to help with travel. What is the monster pack? The monster pack is a four or nine box. Depending on the level of size queen you are, depends on how big the box pack you can get. Okay, travel should be easy. Yeah, it's a, the reason why is because Neil, me, Gizzy, and Delk have Neil's vehicle to go with. Um, and it's to do with comfort as well. We don't, I don't think having, I, I don't think having like, five in the car is a good idea the last thing you want is to have someone sat in the middle in like a five hour in like a hour long trip but we we're planning to travel as a group so if you can find people that you can go with and stay with and travel with that'll be good that'll be easy i'm fine with tight spaces you might be but the people you're traveling with might not be okay just throw them in the boot no that's illegal. Everywhere but Australia, that is a bad idea. Granted, in Australia, everything is dangerous, everything wants to kill you, it's kind of a problem. Australia's scary, how the fuck do you live there? I never said it wasn't. <laughs> minivan? See, I've thought about doing the minivan thing. Put me in the boot. Park! Park, you fucking bottom! I didn't get to see you at TwitchCon! I wanted to fucking lick your face! I needed to do the fanboy test! Test? I was- I wanted- I was saying test and I said taste and I got mixed. I wanted to lick you and give you a taste test. I wanted to know what fanboy tasted like. You gave me permission? You fucking hid! We should have met? We should have met at the VR chat meetup. To be fair, uh, I got ill, so maybe lucky you didn't. I never hid. I saw everyone. You didn't see me. I was actually kind of trying to be invisible on day one because of anxiety reasons. Puck, we need to hang out. You need to. We need to chill. We need to hang out in VR again. I haven't seen you in forever. I miss my bun bun boy. I ran around like an idiot for both days. Day one for me was high levels of anxiety, feeling like I might get attacked. 
I'm not good with crowds. Day two, I relaxed a lot and I felt so much more confident, but we just didn't end up staying long. Day one, we were there for like a good, we, day one, we were there for like five, six hours. Day one was great. Day, day one, we did like 35,000 steps. Day two, we did about 20,000 steps. We were there for like three, four hours and then we just went, kind of bored now, let's go. I'm Mechus. Well, I joined to see KE Ran and not seeing Puck. I see Puck! Puck is here! Puck is, Puck, 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 Puck is here. Puck. Squeeched. Everyone in chat say hi to Puck. I might be the biggest bottom, but Puck is most definitely the best bottom. Yas. Ads. Are you seven in chat for the ads? Which are starting in 60 seconds. If you don't want ads, you can subscribe. It helps me out. It helps everything out. Ah, oh, maybe people can get gifted subs. Maybe we can try the super alerts out today. Hi, Puck. Hi, Puck. Hi, how bad is the city you live in and and the reasons why you're scared of crowds? I gave a good 10-15 minute explanation why I don't feel safe living where I am. And that was just within less than two minutes of walking here, Swagger. Puck wasn't hiding, they were cosplaying Noel Ga Gallagher. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'm really bad at that. I'm, I'm really bad with cosplay stuff. I'm kind of in a bubble. I need to be. I need to be more social. I'm working on it. I'm. Wa I'm working on it. Prime time. Prime. Did you know that you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and get a free subscription to your favorite streamer? It's called Twitch Gaming. It used to be called Twitch Prime, but they recently changed it to Twitch Gaming to stop people from doing the pickup line. Yeah. I have a dick! Thank you so much for using your Prime! Wait. Did you know that with Twitch Prime you can skip ads and not pay a fortune like other companies? Okay, I need to I need to fix that, because that should have gave you a thing that said Prime Mem Prime 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 Sub. Thank you so much for giving using the 20 what 21 months? Jesus Christ, so, do you want to know what I've learned? Most of you are subscribed for more than 16 months, it turns out. Most of you, most of you in the chat are on a 16 plus month sub streak. Ads, can someone give Puck a sub? Can someone give Puck a sub? So they can get out of the ads. Who knows, it might start a hype train, and I know what you guys are like with that. You seem to fucking like the scam drones. <laughs> Cisco, no! But yeah, can someone give Pucker a, can someone give Puck a sub? Hee hee hee, to be honest, I changed my name a while back. and wanted to see how long it would take to get an ad, so I would sub and review, reveal it was me, Dior. I mean, Onita, time. I have a dick. Puck! Pangolin Wraith gifted a tier 1 sub to Puck. They have given 118 gift subs in the channel. Oh, fuck. Puck, enjoy the sub! Wraith, thank you so much for giving a sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm sub you dinger. <laughs> Do you like the new super alerts? They're so obnoxious. <laughs> They're not as overwhelming as they used to be. The other ones used to be like, go fuck yourself. Now you can still see me. <laughs> I wanna change, I need to fix that. I, I need to fix where the volumes are going. I think I've got the ta audio management wrong, but I can fix that in two seconds. Damn Taras, it wasn't a challenge. With Taris, it's always a challenge. Now my OCD feels angry because we have a seven and not a 10, and it's so close to being satisfying to look at again. It's so close. It's like edging me and my OCD. But there was a hype train almost there, notification. Taris loves that. Taris loves to come along and just go doot doot. I was waiting to cause, to cause chaos. You were waiting? Hmm? 
You won't cause chaos for me though, will you, Jake? Hmm? Hmm? I feel like Puck is hiding because of the ads now. Gonna need to start watching Twitch more. I'm way too close to 24 months. <laughs> I need to, um... I need to start putting Twitch up on my str uh, Twitch up whilst I'm working on things, so it's background noise for me more. I feel like I tend to lean on YouTube videos a lot when I'm working on things, so I'm like, mm, all the time. Prove it. Whip it out. Become the chaos gremlin that you are, Jake. I dare you. Puck died from ads. No, Puck. Yeah, same issue is that I need to uh, say, yeah, same issue is that I then do exactly what I'm doing now and type in chat instead of my essay. Uh, I have a tendency to hyper fixate. I'm, I'm, I, okay, if I'm autistic, I don't, I, I'm not being tested. I don't plan on going in and getting any official diagnosis. It feels kind of a, a, a if I am. If I'm autistic, I'm pretty sure I have a hyperfixation on stuff I'm working on. Like I can I can really dial in on what I'm doing. And I can do big doc Rafe can Rafe will agree with this. When I dial in, I'm on it until I'm done. I've done a huge fucking I, I did one night from like 9 or 8 p.m. till 2 or 3 a.m. I did a huge fucking document basically doing a huge content strategy across all of my social medias. I did a huge write-up on this huge thing. It was like a 12, it's like a 12 page document, right? And it's like, boom, this. It's like, oh shit, that's a lot. <laughs> And I, I, by the way, I'm rewriting that and making it look pretty. So if anyone joins and they want to know the plan, I can just be like, boom, here's the document. I have to actually expend, extend it, uh, but I need to finish off my VTuber law stuff. Oh yeah, if... If I can hyperfixate, it's fine. Speaking of, I don't have a, my ADHD things today. I'm gonna get that before it's too late. I ha I've forgotten my HRT a couple of times over the past week or so. I know it kneels, I forgot it like two days in a row and I was, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm fine. I'm, I, you know what, fuck it, I'm fine, I'm away. It doesn't really matter as long as I get back on it as soon as possible. And then I came home and I basically did it and then forgot, sorry I'm here. Don't be sorry for being here. Puck, we love you. We love you, Puck. I hope you enjoy your sub. Say thank you to, say say thank you to Wraith for giving you a sub. Sorry, I had to confirm it. <laughs> Son of a! Do you like my super alerts, by the way, Puck? Do you like how obnoxious these fucking alerts are when people do big shit? Do you like my super alerts? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Yo, that's stylish. I've got the little ones which pop up down here. Then I got the big go fuck yourselves. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I am in no way, shape, or form cute. We have a di okay. They're all different. They're different. So sub sub bombs go up here. I think donos go here. Oh, no, raids go here. Donos go there. And then, ra no, raids go here. They're at different angles. There's four of them, and they all cut in at different angles. So two of them go, one of them goes that way, one of them goes that way, then one of them goes that way, and the other goes that way. And they all come at different angles. They got different pictures. You gotta collect them all, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, I I wanted to bring them back, and I wanted to bring them back decently. They were a fun like two day task for me to do. I went through like five different iterations until I just went, you know, we'll do it that way, it's fine, it is what it is. They were easier than the small, they were way easier than the small ones. The small ones went through like 12 different versions. Oh god, I forgot how cheap your redeems are. You think my redeems are cheap? 
Are you joking? Do I need to make them more expensive? Is that what you're saying? Guys, if I make them more expensive, just blame Kitsune. I'm on my drink. But Puck, I'm sad I didn't get to see you. I heard you were hanging around the fucking GG, the Gamer Sups booth the whole time. Were you, Puck, were you hanging out at the Gamer Sups booth the entire fucking con, by the way? I know there was like three people that were just hovering around there. I was only there end of Sunday for about an hour. An hour? I was there for 10 minutes. I was there for 10, 15 minutes on the Sunday, on the Sunday because I wanted to get a shaker. I got a shaker. That was like the one thing I got. I got the shaker that they did because I like their shakers. Getting to 100k points take a while. I only stream for about three, maybe four hours. Some days I do more. I was behind the counter signing things and pissing about with Kiwi and Darren. I hung out with Kiwi. I hung out with Kiwi for like a good hour and a half on the Sunday. I wish I kissed them, but it is what it is. <laughs> next year, next year, next, ne next year. I got 372k points. Damn, that's a lot of, that's a lot of bitch coin. I'm gonna change those, by the way. I don't know what I'm gonna change them to. I might just change their name to be called Favor. Actually, yeah, well, we name them Favors. Hmm. Well, yeah, that is the point, of, point of points to get them and the, to st and then to spend them. Hmm. Yeah, Puck, I also saw Lily at the booth on- I saw Lily on the booth on the Saturday. I- I didn't say- I didn't do- I didn't get in the line. I just went, sup, li, sup, shy, and they went, hi! That was it. That was my interaction with them. It was great. <laughs> it was great. They acknowledged my existence. I'm happy. I- I- I wasn't contact starved. I was hugging a lot of people, actually. So I have 72k- Katie Favor? I'm just gonna call them Favor. It just makes- it just feels like a great name for a channel point redeem. Right now they're called Bitchcoin because it was supposed to be a joke about Bitcoin. And it works. I think calling them Favor is just a good way. It's just a re good rename for them. Yo yo did- Yo yo did- Yo yo good morning didn't- Jake! Did you really wait until it was about to fucking end to do that? Are you joking? <laughs> Necobus, Necobucks. I could call them Necobucks. Jake, I, they do, Puck, they do this to me every day. Every time I go live, they intentionally do this whole, yo, we're gonna hype train you. And I'm like, bitch, no, you're not. And then they do it, and then they go, ah, ha, ha, here's two. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Every time it's about to end. Well, yeah, they do it every time it's about to end. They just go, Ma mass, 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 mass. I'm surprised they don't do the bits. It's technically cheaper to do the bits. Was it so? Yeah, well, no, actually, technically, it's the same price. Except I just get way more from it out of the bits. Mm. Oh, yeah, I was wearing dresses at TwitchCon. I was very comfy. Little bits. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the hundred biddies. Ah. We beat off the rails. Oh, God. Puck, I do not deserve that level of love from my community. I feel like I don't do enough for them, which is why I spend so much time doing shit for them. I'm a very confusing bitch. I'm a dumb... I'm stupid. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, I think you think. Careful, Jake. Jake, 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 Jake. 
careful. Thinking can be a little dangerous at times. You should really, really consider talking to a doctor before using before using that part of your body. Um, I heard it can be very dangerous and can get you in a lot of trouble. Um, I've been told a few times that me thinking can be a problem. Um, and I should shut the fuck up. <laughs> Welcome back, Katie. Welcome to the chat bowl. How have you been? Hmm. Is okay, I'm sitting down. You're sitting down? Oh, okay, well that's good, you're sat down. Thinking and sitting down is a great combination because you can read a book, you, you, you can Google. That's the end of that conversation. <laughs> I got a bed instead of an air mattress, I'm pogging. You're pogging? Oh my God. Hi, Cyber! Actually, I'm thinking about getting an air mattress to go on top of my bed, by the way. I'm actually thinking about doing it so the- so on my days off, I can just use the air mattress. Bottom. Cyber keeps calling me a bottom. Like, they join my stream, they DM me randomly, bottom, and then my response is just Yaha, and then that's it. They don't say anything else. I kind of feel sad. I wish they would call me other names. I wanna. I. 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 I mm. My good girl. Puck bottom. Puck is best bottom. Hi, Zilva. Welcome in. Hi, hi. Cyber chump. Uh, Cyber, you should have joined us at TwitchCon. Katie, the underbottom, the best bottom. So when you fall off the bed, it's at a higher high. More to do with the fact that my bed has this hump in the middle, and I want to. Uh, I'm thinking about getting an air mattress to balance it out, because I don't have to technically fill it all the way up. I just want something to just help level it out. Okay, does that make sense? Because my bed, I've got a sofa bed. I've got, a, I've got a sofa bed, but it's not a sofa. It's a sofa bed where you just take the back and then you lean it over and then you sleep on it. So it's got a bump in the middle and it's got a dip. And when I was at Neil's for four fucking days, I slept on a sofa bed, which was thinner than what I have, but it folds out that way. So legs are on one part, heads on the other part, right? In the four days I was at Neil's, my leg started to feel better, my back stopped hurting, my neck stopped hurting, and I just genuinely was a lot more comfortable sleeping on their shitty little sofa bed. Compared to mine, which I sleep on all the time. I've been back for... five days and everything hurts. So I'm thinking, hey, there's the other nerd mattress. <gasps> I got a little hearties! Oh no, it's a balloon. Oh, a balloon heart! Holy fuck, I like that one. And it's such a cool little emote. It's still not as good as Gritty Duck. Have you seen the Gritty Duck one? I like the Gritty Duck one. You're not doing it right, Katie. How am I supposed to do it right? It's a bed. It's a fucking bed how am i supposed to do it right how am i supposed to do it wrong what am i doing yeah i've actually thought about just sleeping on the floor <laughs> i've actually thought a couple of times about just sleeping on the floor just get the air mattress out and just plop it on the floor actually to be honest i might do that Love the new top, by the way. Very cute. We're visually more consistent now. We've still got the pink, but they're hints. Rather than being a dominant, more dominant color, we settled them. What is Ara Ara? I've seen it on my YouTube recommended page. Ara Ara is Japanese for like, well, well. It's contextual. In a sexual sense, it means... It's very much like a form of satisfaction, like surprise. So you go, ara ara, and it just means, ooh, that's interesting. It's 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 contextual. Ara ara just means well well. Mm -hmm. 
Ar Arf? No, that's a puppy. That's Maeve. That's Maeve and the little pup, pup, puppers in chat. By the way, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry if I didn't say anything. I really appreciate it. Peter, I will take a sip. <laughs> Roll. Is Yeah, my dad came back earlier this morning than I planned, than I thought. So my dad, so so my dad yesterday left really fucking early, right? And he, he went off and he saw family. Do you wanna know how fucking bad it is with my family? The reason, I think one of the reasons why, mentally speaking, I have a struggle, mental struggle with like money and not giving a shit is because my dad went away went away to see one of my great to see one of my aunts by the way one of my yeah one of like my aunts or my great aunts cousins my my, my dad's cousins I don't know what that would be great cousin I don't know um and I shit you not she nonchalantly has a fucking estate with Tudor and Victorian buildings in a fucking picturesque I'm talking she has it so people can walk on her farm to take pictures she has she has people coming by to do photo shoots on her land And she's just nonchalantly complaining about shit. I'm never the, uh, the my dad's just sitting there looking at shit, going like, "Wow, this place is gorgeous." And she's complaining about the pagoda. I'm like, "Bitch, you have a pagoda? What? <laughs> the fuck?" <laughs> Your aunt has a Victorian house. She has a house which is about two, three hundred years old. She has a she has a she has a place which is about two three hundred years old. It has a manor, three uh, four small buildings. It has a brook on the land where they have like sluice gates that they have to open and close depending on the weather to let more water through. It's apparently stupid lice, and I'm just sitting up and like, what the fuck? How am I in this family? I'm like. What? <clears throat> Bit heavy on the maintenance, them old houses. It's renovated, hon. It's an old 300-year-old house that has been recently renovated. It's, it, the inside just looks like a modern home which has been, which is, which keeps all the old assets. I'm not talking about those stupid fucks on TikTok that take really gorgeous houses and turn around and turn them into prison cells. Have you heard about that, by the way? Have you seen that on TikTok? This, these fucking people taking gorgeous old houses and then just painting it white and making it look medical. I'm just sitting there going like... What? Why would you do that? She was complaining? Oh, it's a problem because this spiral staircase you bump your head in. I'm like... It's gorgeous. Beauty is pain. And you're just sitting there complaining about the stairs. Because you can bump your head and you... you e, e, e. Fucking dumb bitch. Kate has nice assets overall. Also, yes, th that is crime. It should be a crime. It should be. I've watched a... The funniest response is this woman screaming about people destroying gorgeous homes because she wants to live somewhere cool one day. I'm finding the TikTok. I'm finding that fucking TikTok. I don't care for crap. I don't... Uh, fuck. Eh? Where is it? Where is it? This one?
that, that, that's literally how I feel. She's like me for real, for real. Why would anyone want to live in a house turned into a prison cell or hospital room? I don't fucking know. It's such a problem. And the problem is, is I hate to fucking say it. I know it's millennials doing it. Millenn it's the rich and the annoying part is it's the fucking rich millennials the ones that went to private school the ones that went to architecture college the ones that basically got given everything in life for, for, for fucking free so they don't think what they're doing is good it's so bad people that do that are psychopaths they're fucking problems i'm a fucking millennial i feel prop i feel fucking disgusted by what they did Oh wait, no, it's not the millennials. It's it's the millennial. It's older millennial. There's like a there's like two phases of millennial. There's young millennial, which is kind of how I fit. I fit in like the latter half of millennial. And then there's old millennial. The old millennial have the whole work hard mindset. The later millennial has uh, the whole work smart mindset. I'm in that little fucking bubble in the center that turns around and screams, work hard, but also smart. Don't do, don't do either or. And I know for a fact that the fuckers that are destroying these gorgeous homes are the fucking older versions. Because they think, oh, it's, because they grew up in houses which were like hippie born, which were like hippie bound. So they had like tie dye everything. They don't like, bright vibrant colors anymore there's a cycle in home and fashion and upbringing where you get what's called the vibrant generation where everything is stupid over the top gorgeous and like colorful and it's really really great it's comforting it's inspiring and then you'll get the fucking bleached generation the the beigeists the, the beigeists, the ones that go for like the subtle ones and so on and so forth. See, my room is, it's calm. It's, it's, I've got a, I've got a light pink wall with a very light mint wall. So I've got the whole Mitsuri design thing going on. Nice mint, nice, nice pink. It's comforting, it's comfortable for me. But it's subtle, I like that subtle thing. I like the minimalist thing, because it's easiest to keep keep on top of but if i see a gorgeous house i'm not gonna look at a really nice i i mean i don't really i'm not one for wooden panel but i wouldn't have gotten rid of that staircase i wouldn't have gotten rid of that staircase the staircase was lovely i would have just worked around it oh i can't go walk under the stairs i'd put shit under the stairs to make it work I just put like storage containers under there and just do like a really cool design. I do anime, ca oh, spiral staircase. I would have done it. So you have like glass cabinets that go down, that go down and underneath them. And I would have filled it with anime. I would have done it as like my anime gallery or, or Gundams. I could have done Gundams. We could have done like the Gundam staircase. Would have really pissed my mum off seeing my, my fuck, seeing like passion and somehow. Housing. My mum is a beigeist. My mum. My mum is a beigeist. She took. Uh, she took the living room downstairs. Did cream carpets with white walls and brown fucking and, and like light grey. Yeah, she did like a light medium grey sofas. Don't get me wrong. It's comfortable. But the only color in the room is the rug, and she complained that it was too colorful because it was a, it was a slightly too saturated brown. She complained about the rug because it was a slightly too saturated brown. That's how bad my mum was. <laughs> or at least that's how bad she was. I know she's I know she's gone through a fair amount of like mental crap recently. We argue more than anything. You need a house with a dungeon. I mean cellar. Yeah, I need a house with like a basement so I can use it for my stream space so I can just be as loud as I want and not need to worry about shit. I have this problem of I feel like the more restricted I am, the louder, uh, the the quieter I get, and I don't like it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Soundproof. Yeah. <laughs> I know one thing. I'm very tempted to talk to my dad when we we do this wall. When when we plaster this wall, I'm tempted to try and get him to just take the pa take off the um the plasterboard so we can insulate the in-between and then redo the plasterboard with some new stuff 
because we need to redo the, the door frame we might as well just take off the plasterboard put insulation in it panel on door frame in plaster it paint it that's like a day doing the wall is like a day of work doing that as a day doing the whole wall would be a day without painting and i'm okay with that I don't, I don't, my dad seems, I think my dad seems to think that that's a problem because I want it all done in one day. I'm like, no, I want it, I just want it plastered. I don't want anything on it, you know, just plaster it. Will that make your room sound, will that make your room soundproof? No, it won't make my room soundproof. It will just make the room more, da it will just massively dampen the sound in the room. Technically speaking... Technically speaking, Jake, if I want to make my wall more soundproof, what I would do is I would do thin, I would do thin foam in between the walls. So what you want is, if you've got a cavity, a cavity acts like a sound barrier, but it still lets sound through because it's thin. So what you do is you put foam in it and have it on one side, preferably the outer layer. So inside my room would be the inner layer, out of, outside would be the outer layer. You put sound panels, or you put foam on one side. So the sound hits that wall, goes into the cavity, lower frequency, hits the foam, completely dissipates, and then it shouldn't go outside of it. If you have it so it's foam all the way through, it adds a, it just, it connects the inside to the outside, making it louder. Okay, do you have cavity at, cavities at, as a sound barrier they should they yeah technically speaking they do but the problem that i've got is they're super thin you need a middle ground you need a middle ground so you need a cavity but you want you need foam in that cavity to make it work better you just need the inside to not connect to the outside that's kind of how you're supposed to do it if you want it to be proper that's how you would do it also my door is a problem because there's a huge hole in it so i need a new door and I want a good sound, a door with good sound dampening. Basically, sound foam panel on one half, but the inside gets not. We will fill up your cavity, but it won't be foam. Ooh, woo. Plaster? How? How would you fill up a cavity? Without, other than foam, how would you fill up my, how would you fill up the cavity? Your cavity. I'm talking about my cavity. Boy milk? Boy milk is a liquid, and I don't think I want milk in my walls. I can for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How? Boy, boy milk. Milk boys. Park, they're talking about you. Ch Park, chat's talking about you. Not in your wall, walls, in your, in you and your cavity. They're talking about you. They're talking about milk, boy milk. I don't know why. You're the only built dispenser I know. Can you explain? I need, I need explain. Want your cavities filled. Oh, built, I am infected, so I can't produce any right now. No! Ah. Uh. No. Wait, did you get the did you get the big bad virus at TwitchCon? I feel like I might be immune to a lot more problems. I got COVID. You got the Rona? Oh god. I did I'm so happy I didn't catch any problems. Oh god, I really need to uh, Yeah, I'm so glad I'm so glad I didn't catch anything at TwitchCon. Day one, I got jumped by Glob. Yeah, I need to stop hugging 200 plus people. I... Yeah. 
<laughs> Puck, we need to chill out more. We, we need to hang out off stream. Who's on, actually? Bunny's on, Balip. Spyro, Pub, Astro. Yeah. yeah, we need to hang out off stream. Next time you're on, just chilling, just poke me, being like, Oi! Do you wanna do stuff? I'll bet, yeah, we can go do stuff. We can do like Mario Kart in VR or some shit. And be like, Brrr. And then I crash and be like, oh no. <laughs> We, 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 a rubber suit, it might help. Wear a rubber suit. Oh, um, like a condom? Is that what you're talking about? Mm. Were they not hugs? I have a, Puck is a lovely person, and I heard that everyone got to give him a hug, apart from me. Um, yeah. Body condom. Just go with a swimsuit. Puck, next Twitch on, just wear a swimsuit and wear normal clothes over it. When people ask why you look like you're, why, why you're really rigid, just pull down your top and just it and be like, I'm protected this year. Wear a fucking mask as well. Like seriously, wear a goddamn fucking mask at cons. It not only does it help you stay a bit more like incognito, it really, really helps with not getting sick. Oh god, I've got TwitchCon US in a couple of months. <laughs> what I want, a rubber swimsuit. You want a rubber swimsuit? I might show up to a TwitchCon just to hug a puck. You're gonna end up getting sick though. Puck gets sick. Puck is very Puck, Puck is very sensitive to to the sniffles apparently. Actually, to be honest, I didn't hug tons of people at TwitchCon, so I might have gotten lucky. All of my hugging happened day one. Day two, I I I I shook like three people's hands and I used hand sanitizer. So, um. Puck tip: don't hug people at cons. Give people handshakes and use uh hand sanitizer. Easy clap and wear a mask. There you go. Need to do a vector trace. What the fuck is a vector trace? Jake, are you just making up words? I'm immune to a lot. I also work in a pharmacy. My clear, my cleaning practices are on point. I explains why your name is the doctor. <laughs> Cut the virus. It could have been any number of things. Infection, infection, vector trace. Do you want to know what it could be? It could have been one of the booths that loads of people went to that we didn't go to. It could literally just be from the both. Bend over, I have to take your temperature, Katie. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, behind you. I'm gonna bath after the stream. I'm gonna have a nice hot bath. It's gonna be really nice. I have I, I didn't have one last night. I kind of was bu super busy. I was super busy because I kind of decided to chill out a lot last night. So I went, nah, bath isn't on the table for me. I think after the stream, I'm gonna jump in, uh, jump in the bath. Get your bath water. Every time I mention I'm gonna have a bath, you guys, you guys are like, <gasps> bath water. I mean, I've noticed that since TwitchCon, Lex hasn't been in the chat, by the way. I feel like they met me in real life, went, damn, this person's an actual bitch in real life. I don't want to be around them. And then they just not been here. I'm not sad. 
I'm not that disappointed. To be honest, they could also be busy. We're getting back into the swing. Yeah, I'm I'm back I'm in recovery obviously after taking the break, but it is what it is. Also, thank you everyone for all the bits and all the subs today. I really do massively appreciate it. I have no idea how much it means to me. But yeah, we're getting back in the swing of things. Bath time for Neko Bursty. I float. I'm like that cat in that gif. Which just looks like they're super uncomfy on the back. By the way, our ads in 60 seconds. You got two minutes of ads in 60 seconds. If you don't want to see the ads, then you can hit subscribe or maybe ask for a sub from someone. Otherwise, <sighs> get expected to be at 07 like a bitch. You got 30 seconds. If you don't want to get hit with an ad, subscribe. Oh god. I drank too much monster. Hi Jinx! Hi hi! Hi Swagger! Did you get any gifts sorted yet? I made two last night for a specific reason. Um, But no, we don't have any gifts for that. We haven't yet to receive gifts. Kitty, did you order the swimsuit? I went to order it last night, but they were out of stock. So I'm on their list waiting for them to put new stuff forward. I also I, I also need to figure out how long it takes to get the order in so I can order it closer to when a TwitchCon is. Because I don't want to order something for it to not, one, not get here on time and two, be too big or too small. I'm in that weird spot with my weight loss where I'm like, I can lose a fuck ton of weight super quick. By TwitchCon, I'm still hoping to be about 200 to 210 pounds. My goal is 200 to 215, be in that window for TwitchCon US. I've got 10 weeks to lose like 70 pounds. More than possible. Couple of weeks doing 10 pounds plus will be more than viable for me. I saw the one you made on Twitter was very nice. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that was the specific one that I made. I wanted to flap my wings. I like flapping the wings. They're very, they're very fun to flap. But yeah, I kind of, I, I kind of don't know what gifts to, I don't know what gifts to make. Also, now we're three away. My OCD is getting triggered again. If it was one 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 one, I'd be okay. But it's one one seven. Master Chief would be so happy right now, but not me, because it needs to be a zero or a five at the end. That's the only way my brain functions. Three, seven is not an even number. I don't like it. It is annoying me. My you have something I want. Do I? What do I have? That is annoying me. Also, I smell food. My dad's cooking. Why do you think I waited for the last moment? Because, Jake, you are a chaos gremlin. And I love you, but fuck you. Have a good day. Have a wonderful day, okay? Kitty wants to see how I look when I get my swimsuit from Mary Flavor. I want the outfit myself. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> I just want the three subs so my OCD doesn't go crazy. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, I'm fine. I do need to do some pictures tonight for um, some promo for Wednesday. Oh, my fucking ankle. Actually, I need to talk to my dad before I make the promo, just 100% confirm the day. Oh yeah, I got clicky ankles for some reason. Any ad advances on three? 
Any advances on three? I just need three. We just need three. That should just go to one. If we get that to one twenty, I can pass out and not. I, I can sleep comfortably tonight if that gets to if that gets to one twenty, because I don't know. Any advances of eight? Not doing that. Eight. Do eight. Do eight. Free yourself a booba or whoa. No, I'm not doing booba. Me like the odd numbers. You are a chaos gremlin. If you do eight, it goes to one, two, five, which is an odd number, but it's it's a comfy odd number, because then it's one, two, five. Then we're both happy. Because it's a multiple of five. It's one of the 13th. I was born on the 29th. I'm just OCD with numbers because it's about comfort with me. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter. I can live with it. Friday, Friday the 13th. Wait, is it Friday the 13th next week? Oh, you're going to be like this today? Fuck. Wait, would it be Friday the 13th next week? 11th, 12th, 13th. Oh god, it is actually Friday the 13th next week. Shit. I should sit down, actually. Wait. My cows are going. Oh. Hi. You come here often? Hmm? You come here often? Oh god, I'm intermittently warm now. Is Flash streaming? I know it was her birthday yesterday. Bitch, I just sat down! They are. I just sat down, let me rest my feet! Hmm! I want to rest my feet. Katie, are you painting? Katie, Katie, are you a painting? Cause I want to pin you against the wall and nail you. You don't nail pictures. Don't nail paintings. That's how you damage them. You put you put a you put you put a thing up on the wall, and then you hang them up with string. And I love to get mating pressed against the wall. It is like the most enjoyable, fun position to try because it's got a risk factor to it. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What a fucking sentence to come in. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, hun. Hi, hunky. <laughs> it didn't make the, 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 the phrase mating pressed up against the wall just make you go. Yeah, I'm a, I'm in on this. I'm in, I'm in, I'm a, I'm investing. <laughs> I heard mating pressed. Yeah, <laughs> you heard mating pressed and against the wall and went. I'm gonna invest in this. I'm in. <laughs> My yes. This is what's happening now. We're doing this. This is the thing. We're good. We're Gucci. <laughs> I jinx. What? I feel like that plap, plap, plap meme is going to get used way more. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you guys seem to be enjoying the new avatar video. You're wearing a vest. Am I? Katie's breeding season? No. Mm-mm. Of the new Avi. I'm enjoying the new Avi. I, I feel so much more comfortable and a lot more confident wearing this. 
not perfect. I'm working on my confidence in real life, but I feel a lot more comfortable and happy. I don't have project shit on the go anymore, so it's just genuinely, hey, fucking relax. I'm taking my mental time break now. It's just YouTube shit. Look forward to seeing so much more. Oh, you're gonna enjoy Wednesday, hun. As long as my dad's actually go, my dad actually goes away on the Wednesday. I'm the f fucking Wednesday's gonna be great. I would motorboat Katie if I could. Is it no? I feel like that's against TOS. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it bad that I could technically sell that at TwitchCon? No, I'm not gonna do that. Confidence is no problem when you are as attractive as I am. I'm fugly as fuck. At least I feel like I am. I work on how I look all the time, but I have really low com personal confidence and I'm working on it. I've been working on it for a while. I kind of went through a really bad relationship and it's taken me a while to get past it. I don't want to talk about that though. No trauma dumping. Uh, you don't sound like it. I'm, me on my streams, it's my, it feels like my safe space. Um, yeah, me and my streams is my safe space. I try my hardest to be as good as I can, like fugly. I, I'm a personal believer that being kind is, kindness is beauty and being a bitch is just ugly as fuck. You can look like the most gorgeous person on the planet, but if your personality is just a cunt, then you're ugly to me. I try to be kind to people because I believe that that's how I define people. I, I, I'd I rather someone be ugly and kind, because I would just consider them to be a beautiful person, than someone who is genuinely physically, like, fuck, the only way to describe it. You can have someone who's fuckable, but they've got the personality of a fucking turnip, and they're just ugly to me. But you can have someone who looks like a turnip be the most kind, incredible person, and they are the most beautiful person on the planet to me. Kindness is, kindness is king and queen. Kind, kindness is royalty and that's what I choose to believe. I'm not just, I, and I'm just saying that because I'm pansexual. <laughs> I'm saying that because I'm pansexual, your personality is what gets me, not the, not, not what you look like. I've been with people who are, look physically amazing and people who look not physically amazing and I prefer the people who aren't physically amazing. It's just pansexual brain. I love me a good- I, lo I love me a good frying pan. Why do I always get this question? I gotta join the Discord, hmm? Yes, join. Jake, stop bullying people into joining the Discord! You don't, you, hunky, you don't have to join the Discord if you don't want to. It's there if you want to. We're planning on pushing things, but you don't have to join the Discord if you don't want to. I, I love it when people join, but it's not mandatory. You can follow me on Twitter. On either of my accounts. It is what it is, though. No problem, you had me at mating pressed already. Damn. <laughs> if you're ugly, uh, but have a personality of an angel, you're absolute. You're an absolute god. If, if you're beautiful but an asshole, you're fugly. You're ugly as fuck. Yeah, Swagger gets it. I'm a simple man. Simple is easy. Simple is easy, and simple is best. Kitty body pillow in the works. So I'm getting the iPad hopefully tomorrow. And the plan is to do art streams. I'm going to start off with, um, I've, I think the plan is going to be, I want to start off by redesigning the sub badges. So the little sub badges that you get in the chat. You know, the Super Bowl, the, 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 the Noodle Bowl. Uh, replace that. Give it a bit more pizzazz. I think I want to do that on stream. Um, after that, I'm thinking we can redo the um, channel point things to make them look really nice and consistent we could do that on stream as well then 
emotes, because by that point I'm in the rhythm, I'm in a good position, I should be good, and I should be more comfortable to join, then we can do all the emotes. Once all the emotes are done, maybe I start pushing and we start doing body, maybe I start doing a body pillow. I might not be able to do the one that will be for Zell. I might, I might not be able to do both the, the, yes. Easy slash simple, I am not easy. True. Um... Simple is just comfortable, I guess. Simple simple is comfortable and it's easy to work. It's easier to work with. It's like, uh... What's the best way to describe it? It's gourmet versus comfort. There's a, it's gourmet food versus comfort food. Gourmet food can be fucking incredible, but it's so complicated. It's like, why? Toy design stream? No! Mm-mm. But yeah, it's gourmet versus, I, I guess the best way to describe it, it's gourmet versus comfort. Comfort food is easy. Comfort food, it's, it's, it's like chicken, breaded, fried. Boom, comfort food. Macaroni, cheese. Boom, mac and cheese. Fucking comfort food. You want to level up your mac and cheese? Bit of crab in there. Maybe some mustard. Fucking god tear. Oh my god. So good. Chip buddies. You want a fucking comfort? Bacon. Sandwich. Cheese. Holy shit. Three ingredients. Fat bitch by life. So fucking good. Comfort food. Meanwhile, gourmet. You gotta get the perfect balance of saffron, 50 fucking other spices. You gotta use a very specific type of oil at a specific time. You gotta make sure that everything is lubed up properly in the pan. You gotta sear the meat till it's just the right shade. And you're just sat there going like, ah, oh, this looks perfect. Ah, oh. and then they fucking wrap it up in this pastry thing with like a fucking pate on it made from like 500 different types of fucking stuff and you're just sat there going like okay what this stopped being food 20 minutes ago this is just genuinely yeah this is a nice meal but my god give me a sausage roll <laughs> why are you is it it's a sausage roll versus a wellington Sausage rolls slap just as hard as a good Wellington. A Wellington is good, but my fucking god, do not fucking tell me a sausage roll is not just but be it is just isn't better. In a heartbeat, would you rather go for a fucking fancy ass Wellington or a really good simple sausage roll? To all the Brits, sausage roll or beef Wellington? Beef Wellington, both. Pyro software is right, by the way. Everything is either soup, a Wellington. What was the other one? Oh, oh fuck! I opened something. Yeah, soup, Wellington, or um, something else. I can't remember. Hmm. What foods are these? Uh, they're British foods. <laughs> they're British. They're literally, they, uh, at a glance, a beef wellington and a sausage roll are literally the same. It's a piece of meat wrapped in a pastry. The wellington is 500 times more complicated to make than the sausage roll. So much so, at Christmas every year, my stepdad makes like 500 sausage rolls. And then my mum might make one Wellington. And the Wellington gets like half eaten. The sausage rolls are gone before for, for, before the end of the day. Katie classifies as a full meal. Bitch, I'm the main course. I'm gourmet. <laughs> I'm complicated. Wellington rolls. Greg's, Greg's. I, is it bad that I really want to get a Greg's dress? What a lovely looking for fine, fine dining. What a lovely day. What a lovely day. <laughs> Who is dessert then when you are the main course? I am a five course meal. 
Um, it just depends on how you want to eat me. Oh yeah, I got told to take a sip like half hour ago. Was it? That was like 20 minutes ago. Prefer against the wall. Uh, I would save okay just because of how cute she is. No, I'm not cute. Shut up. What is it with these allegations every time? You're making. You're bringing this on yourself. I'm wearing bitch mode. Hmm. Puck! Are you still there? Is Puck still there? Puck! I want to show you my wings. I got little flappers. Do you like my little flappers? Look at me. Look at me. Look at my little flappers. I got a flap, 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 flap. Somehow I am not intri intimidated. Hmm. Hmm. Not intimidated by me. They look like they are made from chocolate. I think this one is just causing you more problems. We're going back to ne Necro Hybrid. <laughs> Puck, are you hanging? <laughs> hanging in there? I think Puck is busy and I'm just background noise. Puck, am I just your background noise? Am I just distracting? I'm sorry if I keep screaming your name. I could scream your name in private, though. That could That's always fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm laughing. Yee! Sorry if I keep screaming your name. Next time, I will do it in a way which will get your attention and you'll at least giggle about it, okay? Ayo. Clip it. <laughs> nah, people usually don't intimidate me anymore. I am too old, I guess. As you get- I've learned as you get older, you kind of just learn to accept the, a lot of things and just be a bit more <sighs> calm and subtle with stuff. Katie would break Puck with her thighs. I feel like if I were to hang out with Puck at Twitch, if I hung out with Puck at TwitchCon, if I hung out with Puck at TwitchCon, and we were just like in a bar, I feel like I would have just sat there having like a hot chocolate and Bailey's, and then Puck would have just came up to me, and we would have just, and they just ended up cuddling up to me. I I just see I just see that happening. I, I, I feel like I, I feel like me being the little introvert bitch I am sat in the corner just <laughs> sipping <laughs> si sipping my Bailey's and hot chocolate getting slightly tipsy getting drunk being a bit more <laughs> and then Puck coming over I see Puck walking by I go Puck and then Puck and Puck's like Katie and then they run over and then they just come up to me and give me a hug and then they pass out on me and I'm like no you your Puck you your Puck you my bitch. That's what I see happening. <laughs> or, or complete opposite. I get, I drink too much Baileys and hot chocolate and then I start going on a wonder. I see Puck sitting in the corner and I'm like, oh Puck, I want to give you a hug. And I go in to give him a hug and then I pass out. Whilst giving them a hug. And then they give me head pats and I get head pats and I'm happy. I'm trying to figure out if someone does my horns as a 3D print, how am I supposed to get them home after TwitchCon? I want to get these 3D printed. <laughs> anyway, Puck, enjoy your fucking luck. 
I'll stop annoying you now. Hi, Batman. I'm not pretty. Stop spiking your Baileys to pass out on people. I'm not spiking my Baileys. I'm just drunk. I'm a lightweight. I can get I can get I can get drunk quite quickly. I got kind of tipsy at TwitchCon um because I had a Baileys and coffee and then I ended up being I ended up getting a little bit cuddly with Gearzy which was fun because we just ended up giggling and sending memes to each other. We were at the fucking table sat next to each other sending memes to each other at the table. It was so hilarious. And then I couldn't speak, so I had to message it. <laughs> I couldn't talk, so I messaged it, and then I spelt it wrong. Have the horns be removable? But, do I do it so they're one big horn? Do I do it so they're one big horn? Or do I do it so... Do I do it so they're one big horn? And then I have, like, a hairband to sit... So so they're, like, a set. So, so they're, like, this is a set, and this is a set. So that they're a set. And then get a hairband for them to hook into. So the these ones sit at the front and then these ones sit at the back. So then they're, they're like a unit. And then I can put my hair around it to make it look good. I could come up with an idea, I think. I, I can come up with an idea. Because technically speaking, we could do it so they're on like a flat plane and just have a bit of pl pl a bit of plastic which goes in between, with like some bits which I can put clips through to hold them in, type thing. And then I could just do like a hairband to hold it over the head to keep them in position. We can figure it out. We got time. We got ten weeks. Oh, we got nine weeks now. Fuck! It's getting closer. I know someone wants me to get them. That wants me to 3D print them, and I don't have a 3D printer, but they do. <laughs> hi, Baba! Hi, hi! You doing okay? How are you feeling? What are you licking? Huh? Have a chat with Kim? I could do a chat with Kim, but I could also just talk to uh, Dunny, because Dunny's the one who wants to 3D print it. I have two. I have two 3D printers, Ubu. I really want to get a 3D printer, but we don't know where to put it. I can't, my house is really fucking small. Kim got a new 3D printer. Are we looking Katie now? Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out how I would do it. Because at the end of the day, the horn shape is the easy part. Getting the getting them in is the easy part. It's making them... Yeah. Uh, sorry, wasn't listening. Was looking at some channels on your Discord. Make sure you follow the rules. Just follow the rules. <laughs> God, my knees. I'm old. I'm so old. I like my tail. <laughs> You're telling a drummer to follow rules. Hilarious. You need to make sure you follow the rules, hun. You need to make sure you follow the rules, and our bot is very strict. So you just need to make sure you're following the rules, okay? Also, my mods have become a bit more touchy because I try and I'm a bit more lenient, and they're like. The moon is indoors. No, it isn't. There's no moon as a... Is that what you're talking about? That's a Saturn. That's not a moon. It does have like 20 moons, but yeah. Okay, you have very kissable lips. No. Mm-mm-mm. Hi, Bob. 
Hi, Brooke. Hi. Welcome in. How are you doing? You doing good? Kind of smells like a baka. What kind of smell? Like a baka. I'm, I don't know what that means very well. I'm shit at doing those voices. I'm sorry. That was cringy. <laughs> Ugh. Can't you kind of smells like... It smells cute and horny. Okay. Doctor. I disagree with Q. That is all. That is all. I'm not in denial about the horny part. I've been teased all morning. <laughs> been a while since I caught your stream. It has been a while. Have you been taking care of yourself? New avatar, by the way. Literally released it yesterday. <laughs> smells like bussy. Bussy. Got it because the horns, lol. Stinky, mmm, tasty. Oh my god, calm it down. But dusty. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back into the chat. <laughs> I see you got your. I, I see you found your comfy spot again. I just went. Yeah, I'm sitting here. Fuck it. We're sitting here. We we sitting here. We're comfortable. I need to be here because my glasses disappear. Oh yeah, I got pink rims, by the way. A gold with a pink top. God, I'd be so cool if I could partner with a company and get these done, done for real. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine I partner with a glasses company to get the these glasses for real, and then you could buy them? I might actually put like a straight line in the ridge here, but I kind of like the minimalism. Can you imagine that though? The little gold, the little pink marbling with the gold frame. You want pink cream gla glasses? I know a guy. I love glasses so much. I fucking love round glasses. I can't not wear round glasses. My The glasses I wear all the time are just rounded. They're not perfectly round, but they are rounded. And they're so comfortable. I can't not wear them. I have square ones, but they feel heavy. And I can't wear them. Like, I've, I've had these glasses for like a year and a half now. I've worn the square ones like maybe three times and every time I'm like no nope, I'm going back to my round ones my round ones are just way more comfortable when I get the when I get new glasses which will probably be at the start of next year um I'm definitely going to be like I want rounded I want as round as possible like the perfectly round as possible and then I'll show them the design of these and say can we have something that's maybe close to these and they'll be like oh we can do that Because you'd expect round glasses to be cheaper because frame uh, because the lenses are designed in a it's a they're just round, but all glasses are square because then it saves them money, I think because of the cutout because they cut it out and then recycle. But I'm like, let's just make them round. I want round ones. The bigger the round, the better. They look so much nicer. They own the professional made round glass. Round glass is cool. I like just round glasses. And these have like a pink tint to them. Wait. These have like a slight pink tint. Uh, slight purpley tint to them. Mm. Slight purple tint to them. So you can see, you can see that the glasses are there. Without them being overwhelming. I just really find the glasses super comfy. Q. 
She has nice round thing. It's on her chest. Huh? What? You mean? You mean? You mean my? You mean my choker? You, you mean my choker? My little hearts. My little hearts. Okay, I'm actually, that's my second monster. I've had, I've had two monsters, a big glass of water, and a coffee today. I'm going to be energetic as shit. <laughs> I flex! Because it says I love you, like getting choked with hearts. Nothing says I love you like getting choked with hearts. Yeah. I can't drink energy drinks. I have, I only ever have them when I'm streaming or when I've got shit I've got to get on with because they're so expensive. They're so fucking expensive. I love a monster for the, I love a monster on the weekends, but they're so expensive. I'm, I really need to drop them. I'm sad now someone blocked me on Twitter for the tamest thing, a misunderstanding. Brooke, uh, top tip, don't worry about it. Stop worrying about it, okay? It's not worth it. My heart has stopped twice already. I'm good. I just... I need to really cut them back, but, like, I need the energy on the weekend for the streams. Because I, I... I mean it when I say I put my all... My, I put all my energy into these streams. Like, I know it doesn't seem like it, but me physically standing around talking for hours at a time trying to not not do something is like very physically draining and 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 reading chat as a dyslexic at times can be really fucking difficult so it takes so much more mental energy for me to just simply keep up with you guys when you guys are busy i can't keep up and then by the end of the stream i'm like i'm going to eb's time for this eb's okay is very active i try to be well i don't start don't start me at your prices of cigarettes. Don't start me at your prices of cigarettes. I thought they were expensive here, but low. Well, that's because we've got like 500 taxes on them, hunky. And the reason why we've got like 500 taxes on them is because um, people like to go abroad. Do you wanna know, do you wanna know what's really funny? People will go on short trip holidays to do duty free. And duty free is the funniest shit to me because going from going from the UK to the Netherlands, right? Going from the UK to the Netherlands, the one thing that got bought on the plane for the duty free were big packs of condoms. I'm not even joking. Huge, massive packs of condoms were being bought through duty free going into Amsterdam. Can you guess why? Meanwhile, going from the Netherlands or Amsterdam to the UK, the one thing that got fucking bought up by all the local Brits, massive packs of fucking cigarettes. I'm talking huge boxes of cigarettes because they're so heavily taxed. People will do a two hundred about 150 quid trips to buy like 200 quids worth of cigarettes. Interesting conversation I entered in on. What the fact that when you go from the UK to Amsterdam, people buy loads of condoms, but when people go from anywhere in the world to the UK, they buy cigarettes. I do not understand duty free. I mean, I do get it, but I'm like, they bump the prices up regardless because profit. I'd be quiet, I work in tech. 
I work in taxes. I am a trained accountant. <laughs> my mum trained me to be an accountant from the age of 12 to 14, and I, d I know how to do taxes. Um, but American taxes and other countries' taxes is way different. I mean, it's easy to keep on top of in the UK once you work, once you figure out about uh, tax tearing. Taxing, taxes are, like, I, I find it kind of relaxing to keep on top of my financials. Yeah, Greedy, how are you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? You doing good? Hi. Really? 60 seconds for ads? Apparently it's been 40 minutes already. Doing as expected. I do accounting too. Yeah, I, I know. Your differing financial year kills me every time, like March to April. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When you, it, it's really fucking annoying. <laughs> Baba, why are you doing egg? Why no egg give? No egg receive. Egg. Baba. Hated my birthday? Why did you hate your birthday? Are you just getting old and you don't like that? You wanna give egg? No receiving the egg. Are you just having fun with the emotes? Yeah, I don't- I, I really find taxing annoying. American taxing is intentionally bad, by the way. If you didn't know, American taxes are intentionally set up badly, so you have to go through private companies to do your taxes. No getting old is whatever. So why do you hate your birthday? Why, why did you hate your birthday? I find it really funny how everything in America is a cash grab and they brag about so much shit. I'm like, you're 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 a product, my guy. <laughs> you're a product. Like you are you are a product. And it's hilarious that you don't realize that. But we're free. So is 180 out of the other 240 countries in the world. Was that a government office, doctor, uh, a government office, doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, and fought, fought with family? On your birthday? That, I'm sorry that happened to you, hun. I'm really sorry that happened. I'm hoping you're feeling okay. US government is just a corporate corporation at this point. Yeah, it's, I, 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 I'm sorry to get political. America feels like a Walmart. America is just one giant Walmart and it's just being ran by bad management. Like, all the time. <laughs> I disco. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know about freedom anyway else. as because they don't get taught as far as I can tell they uh, tell from here. Pretty much. Pr pretty, pretty much. Their education standards have done nothing but slip and it's just because of... They get rid- I'm, I'm not gonna lie. America gets rid of lobbying, they fix all their problems overnight. They uh, get rid of lobbying, they can fix almost all of their problems within a few- within a few months. I was expecting each- I, I was expected each of it. They simply su surpassed my negative expectations. I'm really sorry to hear that, Greedy. I hope you feel better soon. I'm really sorry about that. I'm I'm re I'm really sorry that that's the case. I'm hoping you feel better soon. I'm sorry, hon. I'm sorry you had a bad birthday. I hope you I hope you have a wonderful um, rest of your day, though. I'm sorry that you had to go through all that bullshit. There's a reason why on my birthday my plan is stream and then eat pizza. Stream, eat pizza, and then pass out and do nothing else. <laughs> that is my plan. Stream, eat pizza, and then do nothing else. Lobbying has even been agreed. 
Lobbying has even been agreed by the Supreme Court in the same uh, in the same as bribery and it's illegal to bribe a politician but they still allow it yeah thank you so much for the follow welcome into the stream uh but yeah that's like a pretty annoying thing somebody say stream and eat pizza hi tay how what's your watch streak at now what's your watch streak at huh you're on like 50 totally not addicted or anything i'll be fine at least had fun with the punishment karaoke games and buds 39 Ah, oh, so close. You're getting so close now, Tay. But don't worry, you're so not addicted. You're totally not addicted to the streams, are you? Hmm? You're totally not addicted to the streams. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I find it really funny that that's the case. I, I, it's so terrible. Nah, I'm just farming points for tweets. Hello! Hi, Wally! Also, the US has a really weird definition for what they call freedom. They don't have- they, they, they really do. I guess it's perception. Freedom to- what does- technically speaking, what does freedom mean to you? For me, freedom is being able to do, be, it's like freedom to me is being able to, um, freedom, freedom to me is being able to relax as I see fit, to eat what I want when I want, to drink what I want when I want. A bit basically to relax when I see the, to relax whenever I feel like I want to, to entertain myself however I see fit, to consume to consume things that I find joy in, and to yeah, it's just genuinely finding comfort in myself and being free to do so. That's what I consider freedom. I think the US is quite free when they are wealthy enough. Oh god, yeah. But yeah, what does freedom mean to you guys? I guess it's like a really, really awkward question. But for me, it's gen It's not doing what I want when I want. For me, it's... Obviously. Because that mindset, basically, is how people get murdered. I can do what I want when I want. I'm just gonna go kill someone. <laughs> That's literally a bad mindset to have. With me, it's, um, to do as I please as, uh, without the risk of harming others. Be left alone by the state besides paying my taxes. Is that what you consider your freedom? Pretty much. <laughs> oh, my back. To do what I like without fear of being attacked. Yeah. It's like, as long as you don't harm someone and you don't break a law, I feel like it's fine. But yeah, I feel like it should be more than fine. My time, my way, what? when I want my with respect. Hmm. Freeman is the ability to be at peace without fear of being ruined. Yeah. Pretty much. It's finding peace. It, freedom is the ability to find peace without the harm of others. It's finding peace within yourself. That's what I feel like it is. Going back to the streaming... Going back to the stream and eat pizza thing though, it reminds me of the time I sat still for an hour and a half eating a fucking pizza. I... So the next time I eat pizza is probably going to be at TwitchCon US. I might treat myself once between now and then actually. I might make pizza like a once a month treat for me on the weekend. Um, like if my dad's not going to be there or if he's back late I might order a pizza. Um, and make that like maybe a once a month treat. 
Potentially. I might... I, I don't know yet. Um... But I know I'm gonna eat pizza when I go to TwitchCon. I know I'm gonna eat pizza when I go t on my birthday. But other than that, no. To me, freedom is a life where I can just live the way I want and don't have to worry about some random person taking it away from me. Pretty much, I, that, is, that, is, that is kind of it. But have you noticed that every single one of our definitions of freedom is restricted by finances being able to live wherever you want being able to do what you want can't do that without money <laughs> it's a privilege freedom is a privilege in this modern day and it's kind of sucks i'm actually not gonna lie i genuinely feel like i've probably got the most freedom out of everyone i know because i'm not restricted in the same way that others are but it is what it is. I, I'm not, we're not going to go into that. Ah, oh, I smell cooking. I'm getting hungry now. And even though we have fair high, fairly high taxes, those taxes allow me to relax at home without too much of a worry. Yeah, pretty much. Freedom is driving my car, but my doctor banned me from driving. Why did they ban you from driving? They obviously have a reason. They obviously have a reason why you can't drive, hun. Because they mean, no, there has to be a reason. Do you have a medical condition? Do you, are you just, are you just, are you just derpy? Is you a derp? Baba, are you a derpy? Are you a derpy? Do you see, do you see, do you see Squall on side of road go Squall and then turn towards it? Do you scream Squall point and then run towards the Squall? Is that what you do? Cause that's concerning. That's pup that's papa behavior. Are you papa? No, you're Baba. You're not Papa. No, I just may have a little case of epilepsy. Okay, then that makes complete sense. In which case, Baba, here's the fun fact. Here's a fun thing. When people ask if you drive, say, no, I don't drive. People drive me. Like, act, act, just act, treat it like a privilege. <laughs> it's like, pff, I don't drive places. People drive me places. But I like my car. You can why why not use your car as a personal project then? Why don't you just if you if you I guess if you like to drive. It, it depends on what your triggers are. If your triggers are definitely flashing lights, then don't drive at night. Oh music. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> evil doctor. Very evil. Go. Hun, that's not them being mean. That's them being worried about you. If you have bad epilepsy, then um, it makes sense for them to take it away from you for us, for your safety and others. Dr. Evil. Hmm. I'm more stupid. I am very stupid. Yes, exactly. Dr. Evil. Story arc. Story arc. That's so hard on my calves. Fucking hell. No, I'm not cute. Shut up. Bad. Not cute. Mm. No. But. But. 
Floofy. No, Floofy. No cute, it's Floofy. See? It's Floofy. It's Floofy. It's Floofy. I'm not a furry, but my title is Floofy. I'm not a furry, and Puck is not a furry. Puck is Puck. Doctor, do not at Puck. Just let them, let them, let them look. Let, let Puck look. Let Puck is lovely. Let Puck, 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 Puck. Love you, Puck. Rest well. Have fun looking. I'm background noise, okay? Slightly fuzzy then. I am not a furry. Oh, that's outside. I thought that was in the music then. <laughs> hey, it's okay if you're a I'm not a furry! You're not a furry, just breedable then, uwu. Okay, that I can accept. Though I don't think I'm breedable, I just want to be breeded. I want to be- I, w I wish to become a loaf. I wish to become loaf. Have you got a furry phone case? No! Actually, no I don't. I actually have two cases for my phone at the moment. I've got what I'm calling my travel case, and then I've got my non... Uh, and then I've got my at-home case. My magnetic case. Yeah. Non-travel case. <coughs> I have my, I have the case I use at home and my travel case. The reason why I've got my travel case is because it saves me needing to have a purse and a phone uh, separately. I just have it as a phone case with which I can put my cards in. And then because I've got the whole iPhone thing, it's got the magnetic thing. I, I literally have this is the phone that's on the case it's this this is the phone case that i have in real life it's got like the whole thing on it and then it sits on there katie use your bra for storage i do for cash because i don't feel safe having that not i'm not a furry she's a, she says boss i look at the discord i'm not a furry all right, Katie, while I was at the doctor's appointment, I found out I'm also back to my high school weight. Is that good? Is that a good thing? Were you overweight in school or were you like in a reasonable health range? I'm not gonna lie, I really wanna get myself down. I, I'm really, really hoping I hit my goal. Is that, I, I take it that's a good thing. Congratulations, hon. But your tail's so furry. It's fluffy, not furry. My max back then was 145, 145. Okay, so that's good. Katie, okay, can I borrow a fiver? I'll give it back. I just want to sniff. <laughs> Ew! Bad! Hi, Taris. I'm gonna start putting two uh, one dollar bills in my bra so when people ask me for money i'll be like sure and i'll pull out like a dollar bill and hand it to someone funniest shit in the uk because no one's gonna expect you to pull out a dollar bill thank you so much for the follow welcome into the stream <laughs> oh my head went funny then fuck Terrace! Yeah, it's good. Congratulations, Goody. I'm so proud of you. I weighed myself this morning. I'm not happy. 
because I've kind of taken like the last month off, but I'm feeling way more mo motivated to actually get on with things for TwitchCon US now. So I'm back on my diet officially as of tomorrow morning. Because my diet's Monday to Friday and then the weekends are more relaxed. But no, from tomorrow I'm on my diet. I'm back out on it. It's gonna be good. BRB coffee because of what is a day without a heart palpitations. I'm on one coffee, two monsters, and a glass of water so far today. I'm gonna have one can of monster tomorrow, and then I'm not having any till Friday. I might have a Red Bull on Wednesday though. Let me note that down. You want a pe peso from Mexico because nobody in the UK will think it's real. True! True! Sorry for the last night, love. Was that a club? What? Worlds and drinking like last night. Silver, do not worry. I went. I ended up. I ended up going to see um, Flair on their birthday, and um, it was really, really. I, I I ended up hanging out with some other people. I'm trying to be more social, so I'm going to be on a lot more often. I'm I'm genuinely trying to be a bit. I'm I'm trying to break my anxiety issues by being a lot more social. So yeah, I I end up hanging out with Puck. I had fun. I had fun. We ended up doing Prison Escape, and I ended up just hum trying to hump a power outlet. And yeah, it was funny. People were like, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I'm trying to put my pee pee in the power. Where for you to call me silver? I usually call you monk. <laughs> I usually call you monk. My dyslexia is all over the place at the moment, okay? Don't judge me! But yeah, I'm trying to be more confident. I'm trying to be more confident. Part of my confidence up, upping is, um, part of my confidence upping is being more social, hanging out with more people and trying to meet new people. So I've hung out with you a bit. I've hung out with um, a couple of other people and I'm just trying to be more social in general. I'm going to be trying to go to more events and hang out with more people and be more active online now. Just don't burn out, okay? Don't worry. Don't don't worry. If I'm if I start to when I start to feel tired, I get off, and I don't do shit in the morning until I go live. I don't do shit in the mornings. On my days off, I wake up. On my days off from this point forward, I'm gonna wake up, go to the gym, get food, and then come back and I work on things from like 2 p.m. onwards. So yeah, I'm fine. I I'll be fine. Worst case, I'm I'm doing when Thursdays as my proper days off, so I'll wake up, do the gym shit, come home. Um, but then I'm like basically doing next to nothing that day. It's my minimal work. It's more scheduling and planning on Thursdays. Hi Matt. Bam Monk, if you're not busy later, we, we can hang out a little if you want. Cause I will be on again. I have like 20 people. Since I got the new avatar out, people seem to realize that I'm no longer busy. So they're going like, oh, do you want some, do you want to hang out? You want to hang out? It felt like everyone was like, you're busy. I don't want to get in your way. You're doing shit. And now I'm done with it. They're like, oh, come here. I missed you. I'm on tonight. Yo, let's go. Testing new stuff. Awesome. I need to take some pictures. <laughs> I need to take some pictures for some promo stuff. May end up with someone. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, I need to take some pictures for some promo stuff today. It's a QDB. No, it isn't. I'm not cute. Shut up. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if you're a dra dragon or an oni. I'm a Nekobus. I'm a Neko. Um, I'm a Neko Succubus hybrid. Technically speaking, the horns, the extra two horns, are strictly because, um, yeah, the extra two horns are strictly because it's supposed to be royal. 
royal it's supposed to be royal uh there's a version of this which will be coming out in the future which will be the royal variant which will be like way more regal and it adds a cr it'll be adding a crown which will sit within the horns it'll be cool it, w that one's that one's a slow design thing oh so it's like 50 50 right yeah yeah i can i can show you so this is the hybrid this is hybrid state vo this is a hybrid state one i've got two hybrid states we've got this one the fluffy tail, long hair, four horns. Neko, it, it, cat, it, cat ears get bigger, tail comes out, horns are gone. Okay? And the eyes have the cat slits. Right? Then, I'm going to go to the other hybrid. There's this one, which is, the hi which is part of the hybrid set. It gets the wings, it gets the neck, the, the succubus tail, the single horns, but it keeps the cat ears. Right? And then, we have the succubus horn. The horns come out. The eyes get the slits. See? And then the wings come out. And we get the tail. And then... This is the version which is the hybrid which I like the most. There's also this version, which is my human form. Yeah, there's this one which is the human form, but I like this version. I'm going to be making it so the transition is smoother, so I'm going to make it so the hair gets longer and shorter. Would that be possible for much sing... Sign Katie photo, safe for work and not safe for work ones. Um, so one thing I actually plan on doing, I feel like, okay, here's the thing, Doctor. I feel like if I were to do posters, I would technically, I will do sign, I will do sign, signed ones. But I feel like the only way for me to do that properly would be you buy it, bring it to TwitchCon you air, uh, bring it to, to a TwitchCon or an event, and then I sign it at the, the, at the event. I would love to do signed merch, but I don't know how I would do that. I'm trying to figure out if it would... Oh, I already read that. Kitty merch idea, signed uh, Katie photo, safe for work and not safe for work. It's possible, it's on the table, but you it would have to be... You buy it and then I sign it later. Actually, do you want to know what I could... I, I actually plan on doing? I, I'm going to talk to Monk about this. Because um, I think Monk will love it. Monk, are you there? Monkey, you still there? But yeah, one thing I'm planning to do for the f for the next TwitchCon, I'm doing cards. I'm going to be doing um like Pokemon or Magic the Gathering style cards. Artwork. Uh, it'll be artwork. It'll have name on it. It will have like random stats on it, and then you flip it over, and it will have like a cool visual on the back showing off all the stats and stuff. Um. I think the plan on the back is actually going to be, it's going to be a QR code, but it's going to be a subtle QR. I think that's going to be the hardest thing for us to do. Will there be a Lulu or pickup cards? The card, the plan is to do the cards that way. Will there be... Lulu or Puck cards. I would have to talk to them about the idea. So the whole plan that I might do is I might design us, at, me and loads of my friends, a card, like, like trading cards. And then I design it for them. I link them to the company. I say, hey, do this, do like a hundred of them or something. Then they can print them at their own leisure. But I, I'd love to talk to them about doing it. And then we could go in on the design Going on designs together, and then everyone can like. Then when I meet Puck, I can sign mine and then give it to them. Then they can keep theirs. They can sign theirs and they can give it to me, and then I can keep one. And then when when we see each other, we can sign the cards as like trading cards with each other. So we'll have like the exclusive ones where we've signed where we've signed our own for each other. But then they, but then like when you want one, I could sign it for you as well. It would be funny if it was an Uno card. Do you want to know what we could do for the back? I, a really cool design that I just thought of for the back. Uh, 
uh, let's do this one. So do you want to know what we could do for the back? So you have your QR code thing, right? You got your QR code. You, you got your QR code things. It's bit, 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 right? So this will be in the center. This will be in the center of the card, and it will be like a cool center design. Do it so it looks quite unique. Do you want to know what we could do? We could do the Uno reverse style thing, like that, as part of the design on the backs of them. So these could be like the backs of our trading cards. So it's a QR code. Ooh, if we twist this so it fits within it, that would be cool as well. And then we could do like cool designs around the outside. So that will be like the back of the card design. Does that sound like a cool idea? And then we could make this part like look unique for the card style. So we'll do, we'll, we could do like a QR design thing. Find like a QR design thing. That could be really, really cool for the back of the card. And then the front of the card just looks like a standard Pokemon card where it's like name. I write backwards too neatly. The N is wrong, but it, the rest of it's fine. And then you get like a cool waifu style picture here. Or no, full art. So it'll be like a full art. And then we have like a bubble with like an ability, a bubble down here, and then like a randomized number thing down here. And then it's like. You know, face. You know, something like that. Would this be a cool thing for you to, p to pick up and trade? Because this side we could sign. We could sign this side. So it's just signature type thing. And then this is the side which we keep clean. I thought that would be a cool idea. I just love the idea of the back. Because then it's a clean looking QR code thing and then everyone gets their own QR code in the back. We, you've been, f you've been funny if it was an Uno reverse card. QR code leaders to the life, QR leaders to the, to their link tree. Yeah, that's how we would do it. So each of us have a link tree, the QR code links to our link tree. And then it's just a really, really cool, clean design. I'd be the type of guy to buy a hundred to burn, just to burn them all. Can you bounce for a second? Like that? If I were. Is that too sus? <laughs> I don't know if this will be a old shout. When was the last time you had a pineapple upside down cake? Pineapple upside down cake? A what? Well, I've got I've got a gluten problem, so it's at least been a year and a half. <laughs> nope. What? <laughs> Want a gluten-free hot dog? You've never had it, man. I'm old. Then what the fuck? <laughs> I might have had it. I just can't remember. I've the thing is, is where I grew up, where I have a gluten problem, and I've had that my whole life. I've never been interested in cake. I've never been interested in anything that's really high gluten. Like my brain has naturally moved itself away from gluten as much as possible. If I have the choice, I avoid gluten as much as possible. Growing up, and I realize that more and more. 
I, I realize that more and more now. So me like not not it finding or enjoying things that have gluten in is like okay cool. Anyway, I'm gonna throw, I, we're three hours in, three, almost three and a half hours in, my feet fucking hurt, everything's in pain, I'm very, uh, there are six, where the fuck did you all come from? I will be back tomorrow at my normal time. I wanna, I wanna start going for longer, but I need to really, I, 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 men, I, I need, to, I'm, I'm getting back in the swing of things. Fine, just leave. I will. I'm gonna go eat pork. Wait, I think we've got pork. I, I got, I'm gonna have a roast tonight. Normal, normally say, I will be back tomorrow at my normal streamy stream time. Can I just say thank you to everyone for all the bits and for all the subs and all the gifted stuff today. I really, really hope you will have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a great rest of your weekend. Make sure you get plenty of rest, drink plenty of water. Don't have too much caffeine. I love you all so very, 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 very fucking much. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will be back tomorrow at normal time, normal place. Basically here, the same start time as today. Yes. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Go to my, go do the YouTube thing. By the way, from tomorrow, we're back on daily shorts. So there's a lot more coming out for that. Um, yes. I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Remember to tell someone you love them. Necobus Raid, everyone. Hearts and Necobus Raid. I will see you guys tomorrow. Necobus Raid, Necobus Raid, Necobus Raid. Ah, I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the five minutes.